I see we're live. <laughs> Hello, Steve. You're here. Thank you so much. I'm going, um, I've got to pop the chat out. Give me just a second, y'all. Oh, I'm still getting used to all this. There's a new beta version, and that's what I'm using. And it seems like it makes better videos. But honest to goodness, I'm still figuring out the this and the that and the what for. So give me just a minute. And I'm going to make some fried pies tonight. If you don't know what a fried pie is, if you haven't traveled to the South in a convenience store, you're in for a treat. Okay, let me pop this chat. It's a shame you can't do this ahead of time, you know, because I'm always like, eh, I don't want to wait while they do all that stuff. So I'm going to try to do a little better. See if I can get, if I can get the damn thing to pop out. <laughs> oh, Lord. And of course, it's not going to cooperate. Because why would it? I'm live, right? <laughs> That's the way it works. Let's see. Let me see if I can scroll down here and if that'll work. <sighs> this Mac, I'm not used to, and I apologize for it. Hey, doll, baby. There's proof in the pudding. How you feeling, darling? There's my Lisa. Hello, love. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, sweetheart. Yeah. And Clancy and Debbie Dawson and everybody else is coming. <laughs> Let's see if I can sit, get the chat. I figured out how to get that down. Y'all, he bought me a new computer, and I don't know what the hell I'm doing on it. It's a Mac instead of a the PC that I've been used to for how long? Mm -hmm. I have not used a Mac since I had my ad agency. Okay, let's get the control room up. Oh, the control room has the chat. Holy crap. It just did this. This is the beta version. I used to have to go and open the YouTube uh, file, you know, like we always have. And then... Um, to pop out the chat, you had to hit one of the top three buttons and it popped out the chat and then you had to layer that over the Google Hangouts. What I'm doing with this is using uh, YouTube Live and it's in beta and it didn't have the chat on it, so I was still having to use it the other way. But boy, this is a lot easier. Hi, Denise Lynn. Let's see who else in here. There's my Stu. Stewie, you cracked me up. I don't know how many... <laughs> How many accounts you have with Stewie this, Stewie that, but you always, I love to see you in any chat. But um, yes, at least you finally made my live stream. Yay. Um, if, in case you didn't want to know, um, Pudding, you, you want to tell them what you just went through? I'm so proud of her. Hello, Harvey. I, I didn't get to come back to your live stream, Harvey, um, but I hope you get it all figured out. You will before long. We all. We all struggle, especially when they keep changing things up. But you'll get used to it, and it'll be you'll be like, this is nothing. Do, do, do. Everybody be on. <laughs> Hi, Jan's Reviews. I, I, okay. Now, y'all know I love everybody. Please sub to Ch Jan's Reviews. Literally just hit a 1,000 today. And I've been watching her, I guess, since, well, Josephine told me about you. And I think you may have maybe had three. 300 if that out. and she is so funny she's so engaging so she's from the UK she gives her opinions on dramas and different channels and she's just a hoot and a half y'all got to sub to her I just love her to death I so enjoy her hi Denise Lynn you tried my biscuits yesterday oh no you ruined them you have to add okay if they were drying hard that's okay you learn that's the good thing about biscuits is you can make another batch, and another batch <laughs> until they're not screwed up. Um, make sure that your oven is set on the right temperature. And make sure that dough stays damp. You don't want it dry. And don't flip it. Don't work it. You know, I was just scraping around. I wasn't kneading it. You don't want to knead the dough like you do with, with rolls or anything like that. But keep trying. Like I say, it's I spent a summer learning how to do that. So I'm used to it. But you keep trying. <laughs> Oh, uh, I am doing good today. You know, um, in case you didn't, uh, for anybody that doesn't know, you know, I have a laundry list of autoimmune diseases. As I say, you never get just one, right? Um, but I, I take chemotherapy, and um, it's not as strong as like for cancer patients. It's they consider it a DMART, but it is chemotherapy, and it makes you so sick. And um, and I started Humira. Humira makes you sick too. So. Uh, Tuesday night was shot night and I did it a little bit early. I was like, please let me get through this. And, um, you know, it, it's real rough. If you know anybody who's, who's dealt with cancer and cancer treatments or who has RA and has to go through this, you throw up a lot, uh, you run 
you get really freezing cold and then your fever breaks and you just are drenched with sweat. It's like having a hot flash. But anyway, I got through that pretty early this week. So I guess I'm getting used to it. Thank goodness. So, you know, and my fingers aren't quite as sore. So I'm seeing a little bit of difference. Uh, my feet are still bothering me and my knees and hips, but I can tell my hands. So, hi, hi Iris. Is it Irish Bull? The Irish Bull Gazer. Hello, darling. <laughs> I'm so glad to see you in here. Yes, Putin had a total knee replacement. And she was up and walking like nobody's business. And she sent me a video of her. I said, you need to send me a video. I'm not, I'm not believing you're going to be walking. And sure enough, she did. Let's tickle to death. Hello, Candy. I'm so glad to see you. Thank you so much for your uh, for your super chat. I'm going to go this weekend and buy my skillet. <laughs> and I keep forgetting. I had... It's not that we can't afford to go buy a skillet. That's the silly thing about it. It's just that every time we're out and about, I kept forgetting. And he would forget. I'd get back here and I'd say, I need an iron skillet. Do you know <laughs> So thank you so much. You and Nightbot were just real sweet. Hello, Renato. And let's see who all else. What chemo drug is it? Methotrexate. Uh, Clancy. One time my mom made homemade biscuits and they were hard as a rock. And they were orange on his. Oh shit, what'd she do to him? My mother. Okay, I'm gonna tell you a funny story. We're gonna start out with this in just a minute. I got my flour and salt in there. My mother, now her mother's the one that taught me how to make biscuits. And she used to tell us a story about when she was in home ec, um, they had to show that they passed their cooking test by making biscuits. That's how they did it. And she said she tried and tried, couldn't do it. Finally, my DD just gave her one to take to school and she got an A on it. And God, God love my mother. She is, she does not love cooking at all. And all growing up, she she would make canned biscuits. Now her mother is an expert at the biscuits. She'd make canned biscuits. And then she would, they would always be a little burnt, but when she would try to make a homemade biscuit. I remember my daddy say it, saying one time he knocked the biscuit on the table and he said, I think we could shingle the roof for these. And I think she threw one at him. But she never could make it. And she said, it's not me, it's the oven. The oven just does not heat well. And all that, she had every excuse in the world. <laughs> and my grandmother used to make fun. My daddy used to say, they have made biscuits since way before you could regulate temperature on an oven. Your, mo your mother's making excuses. And it was just a joke. But then Daddy said, okay, I got you a new oven. And he bought a new one for it, real nice. And uh, still hard biscuits. And I, so I was in charge after after I spent that summer working on them, making the biscuits at home. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, Oh, thank you. I, that cobbler, you know what? The big thing, my husband watched it. He, he watches all my videos. He's real sweet. But uh, I was watching that cobbler video, and I'm like, I am so stupid because I, I had my camcorder, but I should have put it back. Like, I've got the laptop set up here so you can see everything I'm doing. But I did with the cobbler, so it was hard to see. And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> well, I learned. But um, let's see. I have no idea. Oh, Lord. Uh, you know what? She probably overworked the dough and put them in too low a heat. You put them too low a heat, they, they get hard as bricks. Your internet's going crazy. God love you. It's because we're all on here. Brian's holding the camera. Brian, Brian is the most famous wiener, I think, on YouTube. Okay, let's get started on this. And I'm going to explain some things that I didn't explain well last time. And once again, we're going to be working with dough, so I'm taking my rings off. I did notice that last night my hand, just this hand, swelled up to about twice the normal size. And I'm like, I woke up, you know, I was like out in the middle of the night, sick, or to go to the bathroom. <laughs> and I, I noticed that it was so swollen. I thought, did I have it hanging off the bed? Because I sleep, you know, this is the edge of the bed. I don't know if that's what I did or what, but anyway, I couldn't get my rings off. And it's kind of scaring me. And so, you know, I ran my hand under cold water until it went down. Okay, first of all, this is a pastry cutter. <laughs> Everybody's like, what is she using? What is that thing? It is a pastry cutter. They're cheap. Made out of stainless steel. I ordered this one, I think, off of Amazon because my other one bent. Um, it was at El Cheapo that I think I bought it drug at the uh, Dollar General or something like that. This is a good heavyweight one. You want one that's got... See how it's got nice spaces in between? That's going to cut that shortening. Really good. Okay. And then what else? 
Okay. Um, look at the conversion chart for anybody that's in the UK, because I'm using the American, you know, cups and teaspoons and all of that. If you use the metric, all that, I can't translate it because I never learned it. They never made us. So just look up in Google and you'll see, you know, the liquid and the dry amount. So you'll know exactly how much of which one to use. You know what? If you're in the, you're overseas, so you should, I bet you didn't have self-rising flour. And if you didn't, then you need to put uh, some baking soda. You'll have to use a little baking soda and um, baking powder in it. And just DM me. I'll help you with that. Okay. I have my flour in here. Oh, Lord. I got to get my recipe pulled up because I don't want to tell y'all something. It's a lie. Let's see. And, oh, all, of, all the recipes will be in the description because I was asked to do that. Staff said, will you put the recipe in there? I said, absolutely. So I went in there and I put it in. I thought, you know what? I need to do this better. So I put it on my notes and it'll all be in there. Okay. For this, I've got two and a half cups of flour. And then um, I'm going to put two tablespoons of sugar, half cup of shortening, chilled. And I'll tell you why shortening. Half a teaspoon of salt, one cup of evaporated milk, and one egg. Okay, this is a very different pastry dough than you would use for pies. Um, I have tried to make fried apple pies with a regular pie crust and using butter, and it just doesn't, and you know, because there's no egg in it too, it doesn't puff. It's This is supposed to puff a little bit as you fry it, and uh, it ha should have a nice golden crisp on it. And the regular pie crust just doesn't seem to do as well, and I hate that, but oh well. So... Then we're going to make apple and chocolate. Now I'm only going to make a few chocolate because honestly, I can't eat them. So, and my husband's going to take them to work. So <laughs> that's where these are going. All right. But everything will be in there and I'm making, I'm making the uh, pies and then I'm going to put glaze on them and I'll show you how to make the glaze. And I'm going to show you how to do the apples and the filling and everything. Now you can fill these with whatever you want. I have seen people put Nutella in them. I've seen them use every kind of fruit. Um, you name it. If you like it, you can put it in this. So just do do your happy thing. <laughs> Play with your food. Okay. So I've got my flour in here. And now I'm going to get, I've got the salt already in here. And um, I'm going to get my sugar. I think I need a little sugar. And I'm just going to, because I'm used to measuring with my eyes. This is supposed to be, let me read again so I don't, it's two tablespoons. So you see I've got this little bitty measuring cup and it's a fourth of a cup. So I'm going to eyeball it because I do that a lot. And it's going to be a little over half to be two tablespoons. So you see, it's going to look like that. I'm going to put that in there. I usually don't put sugar in the crust, but just watch what happens. We're going to make magic. Okay, all my dry ingredients in there. Got my salt. Uh, yep, I'm good. Okay, now here's here's something cute. This is my DD sister. Okay, <laughs> this is for little things, and you can use it in this as well. You're going to sift this because this needs to be a really smooth dough, unlike biscuit dough, which you want to be a little, you know, a little rough looking. You don't want it all smoothed out. This is going to be pretty. Um, this is my DDs, but. This is also my DDs, and you can use either one. If you don't have a sieve, if you don't have a little sifter, get you a sieve. Everybody needs one in their kitchen anyway. And this is a copy of the bigger one she had. I found on Amazon because the other one broke. And look at that. How cool is that? But I just think they're neat. Something to play with. And what I'm going to do, I think, <laughs> I'm just going to use the sieve because it's just easier. And as it goes through, you want to, can you all see, I want to make sure I can see, I don't want to be like my collar video where you can't see what I'm doing. As you can see, I just do that now. Tap. Or you can go, it's like a shake weight. I can't do the, I can do the rosy shake, but my arms go with it. So I don't do it as well as she does. She has the best shake ever. <laughs> Who else is in there while I'm shaking this? Um, pumpkin with pumpkin. I was looking that up because I cook a lot of pumpkin. It makes it real soft. So you have to make a good feeling that's a little bit stiffer with pumpkin. And I don't have any pumpkin right now. So 
But when I get some, I'll be making pumpkin bread, and I use canned and fresh. It don't matter, as long as it's just good pumpkin. Pumpkin puree. But if I want to spend time and my hands feel enough, good enough, I will slice a pumpkin and peel and cook it down. See how easy that is? I'm just sitting here playing, playing with my food. There's Jenny. Hi, doll baby. Hey, Rosie girl. I just love her. If you, Her afternoon and I love her night streams. <laughs> She's not a girl. <laughs> but um, her afternoon streams are just they just are so relaxing and they're calm. There's no drama, no nonsense. I'm so tired of drama. And I know y'all are too. Everybody and your brother seems to be fighting right now. I'm not getting into it. I'm not, I'm doing my best not to fight or argue. And you know how hard that is. I got red hair. I'm Irish descent. So that's what I'll blame it on. But I'm, I'm doing my best. I'm trying y'all. <laughs> but Rosie's always a calming influence and um, a heart. Is he in here? Is Harley in here? He's got a new, he needs to get everybody to, when am I going to break out the whiskey? <laughs> That's for my husband. I can't drink. I wish I could. I miss, I miss having whiskey. I'm not even going to lie. I really like good whiskey. And we toured the Evan Williams uh, distillery. Absolutely beautiful. Right there, you know, just outside of Louisville. Right outside of Louisville. I don't. I didn't drive, so I didn't pay attention to directions, but um, I had been to the Jim Beam. I mean, Jack Daniels. We went to the Jim Beam. I'm getting both mixed up. Now, I sift through mine, as you see, several times. I want to make sure that it's all blended. But, yeah, I miss good wine. Now, they have good wine down there, too. So they've got a chocolate wine. It is real good. But, um, yeah, the whiskey, I love the flavor that it gives to, like, the fillets that I did. But Lord, I love, I love bourbon and coke. <laughs> I mean, it's just woo. But and I did this a lot. She was teasing me. She said we were going to get, we were going to get a hammer. I was having a little, little fillet with my whiskey. And, you know, it. The vegetables get such a good flavor. And you can, I forgot to tell y'all, if you want to put peppers, like I can't have peppers, but if you want green peppers in there, or you want to put, you know, anything else that is really good fried like that. Throw it in there. Can't hurt nothing. All right. Y'all, it's sifted. I'm going to have flour everywhere. My rings are going to disappear. And then I would have a heart attack. <laughs> you would see me fall out the floor. Y'all have to call 911 because okay, Beth lost her jewelry. Woo! <laughs> okay. We've got our sugar. We've got our salt. We have our all-purpose flour all in there. Now, it's calling for... <laughs> It's calling for a half a cup of shortening. Now, the, like I said, we're going to use shortening in this, and I use just plain old Crisco. And I'm just, this is half a cup. I just go scoop because it's mine. <laughs> and I can do that. <laughs> All righty. So we're getting half a cup. I'm just running off on the edge. Set that down. My dogs are over there behaving. That's a bad sign. Y'all know that, right? <laughs> they're going to break out. And they're going to be like, rah, rah, rah. so if you hear it, I apologize. What am I looking for? I got my pastry cutter. I just need something to dump this out with. Let's grab a wooden spoon. Why don't we? All right. Let's see, we'll get that out. Now, you want this cold. Now, I know most of the time I say everything at room temperature. You know, it just makes more sense and it blends better. But once again, just like with uh, the butter, you want it cold as you put it through. And it hang the reason is it just hangs together better. And it makes for a good, light crust. <laughs> chemistry. That's all this is, is chemistry. Best chemistry, best chemist in the world, in my opinion cooks they knew what blended with what and how everything reacted with everything now i'm just taking this pastry cutter and i'm gonna put this until you really can't see shortening ball up at all and i had a nasty little comment that i heard and i'm just gonna address it and i'm not gonna be nasty back either somebody was making fun of me for sitting down while i cook and i explained that you know the reason 
I guess they didn't pay attention. A lot of people don't pay attention to anything. They just will make ugly comments. The reason that I, I sit down is because I have bulging discs in my back. And I'm not having surgery not for a while. And I don't want to take pain meds for it if I can help. Nothing but over the counter and then a lot of, you know, icy hot and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm sitting down. <laughs> I can still do everything sitting down that I can standing up. And I need a rolling stool. And I keep saying I'm going to get one. But I just need to go to Staples and pick one up. I'm going to put this in my lap because it's a little easier for me other than reaching up. Let's see what's going on. Chocolate wine. Yeah. Candy. Um, Pirates. Pirate Calypso. Jen. Uh, talk to her about it. It's called something frog. Trying to think. If she's in here, uh, if you're in here, uh, Pirate or Rainbow, the chocolate wine, what's it called? Can't think of the name. Hi, Flyboy Glenn. It, you know what? It doesn't make a difference if I'm sitting or standing. It was just somebody being a jerk. Isn't that crazy? And uh, what else was it? Oh, somebody genuinely asked, and they were very nice about it. They said uh, they watched my cobbler video, and they said, you really need to be checked out you're breathing hard well the reason i'm breathing hard is because it's pain and if if when i get up and i'm up for too long standing up straight it takes my breath you know at the adrenaline starts rushing you know all the endorphins everything for, from pain and so i'm out of breath and sometimes it takes me a minute so that's why and and she was very nice asking about it she was no shade as they say Okay, now that's looking about right. All righty, what's going on? Mama Beth, you need to come to Door County. Oh, I, honey, I will. I will be sitting from now on. Honey, damn it, it's, smart. it's the smartest thing you can do, especially if you've got, you know, back pain and all that. Why not sit? You know, like I said, there was always a rocker in my granny's kitchen and you know, if you're peeling, whether you're peeling potatoes or apples or anything like that, like I peel apples today, I sat and did it. And they still got peeled and they're pretty so, you know. So I wanted to try to prep as much as possible. You know, you try to do things ahead. Like um, I noticed watching Rosie that she had a, a lot of things prepared. And, you know, of course, in cooking shows, they do. Julie Child, <laughs> she always had stuff prepared. Okay, look at that. See how it's it's a fine, it looks like it hasn't been sifted, but the you're not going to find any of the shortening, you know, when you pick it up. It's it's really put through. It's just good. Okay. Let me get my cup here. And I gotta get my bowl. Where's my bowl at? And not the good kind of bowl. <laughs> oh. No, I'm not going to do that. I was going to mix it now. I think this is an actual bowl. I love these bowls, by the way. <laughs> my husband, I, these notices get on my nerves. Every time somebody says something or anything like that, I get a notice. I asked for a set of steel bowls because mine, once again, had disappeared. <laughs> and I don't know whether it's the move or my daughter snatched them, honestly, because she really liked them. But when he asked me what I wanted for my birthday, I said, a good set of steel bowls. And he said, are you serious? I'm like, yeah. Like, he always buys me all the big things for my KitchenAid attachments. You know, I've got a bunch of those. And uh, I said, yeah. And then he also got me a real good set of knives because I suck at sharpening knives. I'll be honest. Um, the only good thing about my first husband, I think, was that he, he was really intent on keeping knives super sharp. And he would sharpen my mom's, my grandparents'. Our knives, well, my grand, see, he, he could sharpen a knife, but he would sharpen them so much he could shave the hair off of his of the arm. That's how he tested it. And I always had sharp knives. I haven't had sharp knives since we got divorced. And that's just the God's honest truth. And I bought every kind of knife sharpener it is. And for all my cooking, I just suck at that. So we just bought it. He bought me a really good set of knives. But these are cold balls because, see, they've got the rubber on the bottom of it. They don't slip. And I'm just like... What a smart idea because you know you usually like this and whatever i could set this down and it doesn't slide so it's a really good one purple toe that's it that's it that's it jenny jenny hansen 
She says she lives by it's purple toad. <laughs> Order it. <laughs> it's good. Uh, Mama, I've had neuropathy for five years and I go in and every three months for this. So that's there. Yeah, I've had steroid injections in the back. And I, I really, that helped. I've also had eight nerves in my lower spine. Uh, they want, that's what they want to do. And I'm terrified of it because it doesn't last and it's expensive. I mean, I've been approved for it. You know, my they did all the, you know, x-rays and I think it was an MRI. I think it was an MRI they did. But uh, this was a cut like last year. They went, and I'm like, no, because I, I have friends who've had it done and they're like, yeah, you have to go in and get it redone. You know, and my thing is I've studied enough and heard enough and learned enough you cut a nerve so many times and it has to heal. It still builds up scar tissue and that terrifies me. And so I kind of want to wait as long as I can before I start that. But boy, those steroid injections. I know they're not FDA approved for spinal, spinal pain, but holy crap, they last about three months. And like I said, I'd go in on a walker and come out walking without it, carrying it. It literally worked that fast. And I can't find a doctor to do them anymore and I really don't trust just anybody all right what was I doing y'all remember what I said about an egg break an egg in a bowl this eggs bad and look how pretty that is I did good okay just a nice little egg and smells good not gonna hurt nothing okay let's get my whisk out oh here wait I got my little one I love using this one and I'm gonna whip that up now while I'm doing this did y'all, if you're not following me on Twitter, it's Mama Beth's World 1, number one. Um, I put a video on there because I'm going to show you I made my homemade evaporated milk because I'm too cheap to buy it. If you buy evaporated milk, it costs a fortune. And once you open it, it has to be refrigerated and it doesn't last as long as you want it to. And I just can't see. I've got all the stuff to make it. Why not just make, make my own? So that's what I did. Okay, nice whip back. Y'all will laugh. Okay, I need one cup of the fat break meal. All right. Y'all think y'all think it's funny. I think it's funny when I say I say my mason jars from Canon and all this. They, they come in handy. This is evaporated milk. The recipe I talk about it on Twitter. It's real easy. Um, if you don't know it, I'll make sure to put it in the description. But anyway. There's my evaporated milk that I need a cup of. And it's easy to make. It's just a little vanilla milk and uh, butter. And I think I put a little, just a dab of salt in it. You got to have a little salt. And I think, okay, I'm putting, let me make sure it won't cook. Yep. I'm telling you, I'm ADHD. I can't remember shit. I have CRS. <laughs> All right. With this, all you have to do, if you're not going to use it, uh, once you've made it, this is ac actually when you cook it, th cook this with the recipe that I'll have in the thing I'm in the description. And also, I say it on Twitter on the little video if you, if you want to do it that way. It's equivalent to exactly one can. So if you have a recipe that says one can of condensed milk, there you go. <laughs> it's much easier and much cheaper, but I'm going to use some of that later. Now, you're going probably thinking... Why are you putting an egg and condensed milk in your dough? Well, because it's a puffy pastry. It's not quite crust. It, it's got a beautiful crust on it, but it puffs up a little bit. I'm going to take that. I'm just going to pour that right in. Because this is not something that has to be folded. And I'm going to start out with my fork and just start working that in. Just around and around. Now, while I'm doing this, let me see. I've been getting it for six years. What I would do with that? Yeah, it's, you know what? If it works, do it. Do it, do it, do it. I'm just a little afraid right now. I've had so much go on, to be honest, <laughs> in the last four months. I, I was scared. I wanted, I failed Amber really bad. Like, if you go on, the Embryo website, and they will tell you every side effect that has ever been reported. If you have a bad reaction to a drug, your doctor is supposed to call the manufacturer and the CDC and report it, but they don't always do that. But anyway, we couldn't figure out what was making 
man, so much trouble. I was passing out. I had a stroke. I had a, I was a small service guy. Um, seizures. I never had seizures before. I had no idea. My blood pressure dropped to like, uh, what was it? 30 over 17 when they finally could get it. So I was, I failed. Emerald did not like me. So and I didn't like it. Uh, but then I quit taking it and it, you know, and all that cleared up after a while, but Humira's in the same class. So there is a possibility that I could have those same side effects. So I was a little worried about starting it. I'll be honest, you know, I only have one body and I've had two doses now and I'm doing pretty good, but you don't see the side effects. Like we did. I didn't see the side effects with Emerald till I was on it for six months. And you never know. Okay. As you can see, this is a wet dough. Nice and wet. Just prop it up on my boobies. But, so it's good and wet. We're going to roll it out. Let me get rid. Give me just a second. Oh, we'll fall. Talk amongst yourselves for a minute. I'm going to wash this ball because I'm going to use it again. No sense in dirtying up every bowl and kitchen, right? All right, let's dry this out. Good and dry. All right. Put it up here. I'm going to move some of this stuff so it's a little bit easier. Now I have a thing over there to put my bowl, put my spoons in, and I don't use it, and I should. I'm bad about that. Oops, I forgot one thing. Do, 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 do. It smells good in here already. I'm making chicken noodle soup, so. There we go. Come on out there, you little bugger. Ah! You'll see what I'm doing in just a minute. Here we go. Let's get my rolling pin. As you know, my family rolling pin. I can't cook without my stuff, you know. All right. Let's see if I miss anything. Hello. <laughs> Hello from West Virginia. <laughs> Let's see. I can't hardly read. I can't read with my glasses or without them. What is it, the 530, 530 natives? Awesome. Hello, Sydney. What uh, YouTubers do I watch? I watch so many. I really enjoy so many different things. I watch some of the drama, some I avoid. Um, <laughs> I watch some of the void, like Rosie. I watch her and um, just different with Tucker and Cooper. It, you know, it's just different people that come in my chat. I sub to them and I see if I like their content and go back to Lisa Yarborough. Um, of course, yeah, everybody and their brother knows <laughs> Power Clips so, and I, I are buddy buddy and I think the world ever and I watch hers. Uh, I missed it last night. I fell asleep. Sometimes that happens. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> and, I, you know, I just, I just float around and I watch a lot of documentaries. I, I like to be educated on things and uh, I spend a lot of time. I'll look up different stuff. I'm like, hmm, I'll hear, you know, somebody talking about a subject, and then I'll go look it up and watch videos on it. Um, I watched a real interesting one. Actually, um, who was it? Ian McClellan that narrated? It was all about tarot cards, and I just found it interesting. Like I said, subject comes up, somebody's talking about it. Um, I'll look it up, watch videos on it. I still can't figure out how to to fix my camera, my regular, it's a Canon. I can't figure out how to do it onto the, directly onto Hangout. I have watched about probably 20 videos. None of them work, and now I've got a Mac, and I don't even know anything about it. I can upload videos and stuff, but I can't do live streams with it, and I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and to God. But, um, Oh, yeah, I know, Stewie, you love pirate. What's not to love? You got to love a feisty woman. And she's got dark red hair, too. So there you go. Of course, she was a blonde. Um, Patches is watching me. 
Uh, Patches is her cat, and Patches hears my voice, and uh, we'll be FaceTiming or something like that. And her cat will have to walk in front of the keyboard and like show off. It's real cute. <laughs> you give her a big old hug and pet her. Keep my hands out of the ball. <laughs> I'm going to try to say yes, definitely. Uh, Kyle, you need help? Well, you need help with darling. Her, it's the best. I love her. Kyle, you need to go watch Power Calypso. She'll be on later tonight, but she's a hoot and a half. But, um, okay, I need to explain this. I don't know if you can see, but this is Glenda. And it says, where's my bubbles, bitch? <laughs> I love the Wizard of Oz and um, Easy Life Slots. I think that's, I, I get it mixed up sometimes. Joe, he has all sorts of merchandise and he likes the Wizard of Oz too. And this was it, you know, me and Aprons. And I thought, oh, that's just too cute. I gotta have that. So I bought it and I always try to give him a shout out. He's in the gaming or gambling community. They go to, he goes to casinos and then does a, Easy slots, I don't know. You'll have to look it up. But, um, okay, I've got this all together. Now, what I went and got, and I am getting my hands on the ball, <laughs> was my hefty bag. I'm going to chill this, okay, while I'm making the other stuff because i got to make feelings. Um, so this is going to go in the freezer, or not freezer, but the refrigerator, and I'm going to show you the trick. I like, you know, Rosie's talked about that I help save her dough with parchment paper. And God love her. She's so sweet. I, I, I was so glad that that worked out. I was like, oh, God, please let it work. Because if it, you're always worried when you tell somebody a trick or something like that, that something's going to go wrong here. They're going to be like, she don't know what she's talking about. She's an idiot. But it worked. Okay. I am going to put, now I've got this all gathered to the side. I'm going to put just a little bit. A flower. Now this is all is shit. This is all purpose flour, not self rising, and I'm fighting it. Look at this. See, I bragged it on that bowl. That's what I get. It is pouring rain here and it hailed earlier and it sounded like bombs going off. It was hitting every window. I don't know, it was it was like it was raining sideways. Y'all know when the wind gets so up so high that it makes it rain so it was doing that and then it started hailing. I'm like, holy crap, I'm gonna lose power, which I did the other day from the storm. I was so mad. It was the day I did the peach cobbler video that I recorded. Okay, I'm rolling, I'm putting this out just in a ball. Y'all see that? It's pretty in it. You can't really see it because the light. But you see, it's just nice and it's got a little golden tone to it from the egg yolk. I'm just gonna do like that and love on it. Got a love on it. Got to love that dough. Whatever you're making, put it with love. No. And you know what? That's another thing. People, I watched parts, I was sent, um, of a stream. And my name was brought up, of course, because I'm. I seem to be very popular with people who I don't care about, don't want to care about. And they couldn't, you know, the question kept coming up. I don't know what I did. Well, I've made a video. I literally had so much that I made a video and I got it all out and explained every reason why I wanted nothing to do with that person. Leave me alone. Okay. I made a video. I made some real ugly, ugly tweets trying to get my point across. Um, well, I tweeted first, to be honest. I tweeted nice, and then I, then they didn't shut up, so I got a little ugly, and I got in Twitter jail. Okay, if somebody is tweeting at you, leave me alone. I can't stand you, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, which I think I started to trend. See how I'm just rolling this back and forth, and I'm just making sure that the outside's a little dry, not real dry. I'm gonna stick it right here in this bag. Cause why would I waste anything? Why would I waste saran wrap? Right? I mean, if you got to wrap it in plastic, use one of these. You could rewash it. I turn them in, inside out, wash them in a warm sink, good warm, not quite hot sink, with a little soap and water and a little bleach. Make sure they're good and sanitary. Let them dry, and I reuse them. Yeah, they don't cost much, but you know what? I don't have to buy as many. <laughs> I don't have to tell my husband, could you please pick me up some more hefty bags? You know, and I just used, you know, regular freezer bags. I use the hefty ones because they don't fall apart. 
like so. And what I'm doing is just getting the air out. You're going to see this. I'm mushing it down and then zipping it up. And then I leave a little bit at the end. And I'm going to kind of roll it. Make sure I get all that air out. I don't want my dough drying out. I don't want ugly dough. Okay, then I zip it. All right, look at that. It looks like it's been sealed with one of those little vacuum seal things. Now, I'm mushing it because I'm putting it in the refrigerator and I want it to chill faster. If you leave your dough in a big old bowl and put it in the refrigerator, you gotta leave it in there for 12 hours, right? You know, that's what they tell you in all the recipes. If you mush it out like this, by the time I get my filling done, it's gonna be just right. Hang on just a second, I'm gonna throw it in there. All right. Now, let me move all this stuff. That. And then we're gonna cook. And I did not wash them because I'm gonna use that later. All right, where's all my crap? <laughs> all right, let's get my skillet down. I've got this pot ready to go. Put that bowl in the sink. I try to clean as I go, and I have to say, after I made the fillets the other night, asparagus and biscuits, my husband was so happy he came in and then finished up cleaning the kitchen for me, and I uh, put everything in the dishwasher. Put that over there. Put it on the dishwasher for me, and got it all done. And I was very appreciative. So that's always nice, isn't it? Oh, uh, let's see what's going on. What are you? What are you laughing at, Stephanie? <laughs> uh, yes, he does, Jan. And he's quit talking about that. <laughs> I think he got him in trouble. Uh, yeah, that's the best name. <laughs> I think that's just funny. Drama tuber, thank you for coming in, doll baby, and you you come on back. Let's see. Harvey, you're off to bed. Oh, gosh, it's there. You're in Australia, aren't you? I'm so glad you came in. You watch the rest tomorrow, and hopefully, listen, if you're watching and you enjoy watching it and, you know, you're like, mm, that's something I want, make it and let me know. <laughs> I love when people make make recipes that I've given them, and, you know, it's just, that just makes me real happy. You know, it's one of those things, like, I like to feed everybody, but I also like to share. <laughs> So, all righty, let's start with some apples. We're going to make apple filling. Now, um, I usually use three gala apples, gala gala, however, you know, potato, potato. I use three of them, and the reason this time especially, these are a little smaller. I don't know whether we had a shorter season. Does anybody know? Because I don't have, oh, it was nice, Jenny. He's just a doll baby. Uh, Kyle, I'm making the apple filling now. This is the kind of feeling that you can use for any kind of pie. If you're making a pie, like, and you're, you know, you're making a big one and you want it to be faster, like, you can put the bottom layer of crust in. And I always stick it in the oven for, like, you know, I think I cook it on maybe four, 400, 425. I'll stick it in there and just get it to where it's a little bit crisp. And then I'll use the same filling and pour it in on top and then put my top crust on and cook it. And it doesn't take any time at all. Um, we used to do it where we would take the apples and slice them up and then put them in the pie and then put the other ingredients in. And it takes a lot longer if you, if you make pies a lot, but if you want a quickie, this is it. Everybody likes a quickie. Um, Clancy, I'm going to do the apple pie, the apple fried pies, and then I'm going to do a chocolate one. Now we'll get into chocolate in a minute, but I want to show you this. If you look at my apples, now you'll see that they're not perfectly white. It's because I did them a little bit earlier. And in the water, I put a little bit of lemon, uh, concentrated lemon, because I didn't have a lemon. I don't keep lemons because they don't, they're, they're bad before I get to use them, it seems like. But anyway, I just put a little squirt in there and um, a little bit of water. And it, it oxidizes a little bit, but not enough to make a difference. You know, you just let the apple still turn brown. You know, let it take to work. Okay, so that's in there with about 
I'd say two cups, three cups. No, it's one there. Probably three and a half cups of water. Somewhere around there. We're guessing. You want it to just cover your apples, okay? Now let me make sure I'm not lying to y'all. Okay, you can use different kinds. You're going to add your sugar to it. You can use white sugar. You can use brown sugar, which is what I'm going to use. You can put Splenda in it, but Splenda does not thicken. And you need to remember that. Oh, look, there it is. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start these apples cooking. And I have them diced. Now, for bigger pies, I will put them with slices in it. I will just do slices probably about a fourth of an inch thick. That way they cook easy. And put them in, and then it's real pretty in the pie. That way, you, when you cut it, it's bigger. But with fried apple pies, or they're called hand pies, too. I don't, that just sounds awful to me. That just sounds vulgar. Um, <laughs> we just call them fried apple pies. Um, the smaller apples are easier, and they cling together just a little bit better. So you don't need to eat it with a fork. So, there's, like I say, there's a method to my madness. Yeah, the gala apples are good. I like Granny Smith if I'm doing a bigger pie because I'll use more sugar. And um, But I love that bite. I can eat apples raw all day long. Rosie, I can't ever find those. Oh, you're going to love the chocolate now. Um, but like I said, we'll get to that. I'm going to use brown sugar because that's what I like. And this is one of those things. <laughs> this is awful. I'm telling on myself, y'all. Um. I don't mind if there's a little filling left over. <laughs> it doesn't hurt my feelings a bit to just get a spoon. Um, but anyway, I'm going to use brown sugar, as you can see. And I usually, with these, I, because I go through so much, um, let's see, like with my flour, once again, it's a hefty bag, and a hefty gallon freezer bag. I put everything in these, zip them up, and that way, you know, they keep fresh. But I'm not going to put them, I have, God, how many sets of canisters? But they're all empty. I'm not gonna do that. That's too. That's a waste of time. That's an extra step I don't need to take. So, all right, for the sugar, it's a fourth cup. And oh, oh lordy, I've got a half cup here, which needs to be wiped out. Let me get my little towel here, because once again, it's my sugar. We used to always tease. I, I used to tell my first husband and my second god rest your soul um if you find a hair in your face it's all right it's mine it's clean <laughs> but i try real hard to keep my hair back especially off my face like you can see my hair goes down to my waist which it needs to be cut but um i try to keep my hair back it's always good all right so we've got three gallon yeah, apples and we're gonna put about a fourth this is this is a half cup. And, you know, with brown sugar, you got to mush. That's <laughs> silly. Got to mush it. And I've got it started, and it's starting to, I've seen a little bit of steam, but it hasn't started simmering yet, so we're good. All right. Got the brown sugar. And you know what? If you if you use different fruits, sometimes honey tastes better. It just depends. It's up to you. You do what you want. Make yourself happy. All right? Because we're eating it. It's not like anybody else is. It's our stuff. Oh, that's getting hot. Look, can y'all see the steam coming? All right, so that's starting to cook. I'm just going to turn it up just a little bit. I've got this on four out of ten. Okay. Um. Then I need to put my spices in it and a little bit of cornstarch. Now, with different kinds of fruit, different spices. Play with it. I'm going to use a uh, my ground. Shit. <laughs> Just drop no down, no down, no, 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 don't hit it. Shit. Whew, didn't spill. We're good. <laughs> he was like, What'd you drop? <laughs> I want some. It doesn't matter what I drop on the floor. He will eat it if it's edible. Okay. <laughs> I knew I was going to do that eventually. I'm going to use ground cinnamon. And then let's move this over here so I don't repeat that unnecessarily ground cinnamon a little bit of nutmeg and uh you can put all spots in it too did i put any over here nope so these are the two we're going to use and do it to your own taste if you want it to have a little mm, put a little more in it. uh this calls for eight teaspoon of each now i like a little bit more somewhere in there and an eighth of a teaspoon is enough 
I need more than a dab. You know what I'm saying? If I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna get it right. I'm gonna make it taste. So I'm gonna probably uh, round this. There's fourth teaspoon. You know what? That's fourth a teaspoon. So I'm gonna eyeball it. Oh, y'all know how we do. Now let's put the cinnamon in it. I say that because I used to babysit a little girl and she would, uh, instead of saying cinnamon, she would say cinnamon and she'd say sandwiches. <laughs> and I thought that was so cute. And I've said it since. Okay, it's just a little bit more than an egg. Oh, okay. Let's see. We're going to stir this and let it cook. Oh. Boy, does it smell good. Your whole house will smell better than any air freshener, any of those candle wax things. Uh, oh, Lord. Let me tell you about those. We're going to let this cook. Oh, and I need some cornstarch. I about forgot. Shit, I about threw that over, too. I'm doing good today, y'all. Let me get this open. Get my scissors. I had run out of cornstarch. I called my husband. I said, you got to stop by the store. I need more oil and I need cornstarch. He said, I will be there in a little bit. I said, okay. So, and he did. So, you don't need a whole lot. I'm going to use a teaspoon to start out with. Because like I say, this is not a whole lot of apples. Now, you can double this, res this recipe really easily. Not hard at all. If you just want to eat apple fill, I'm going to save this. I know uh, people that'll buy canned apple filling and just eat it as their dessert. I'm like, well, what if, if, if you feel froggy, jump. <laughs> Whatever makes you happy. My vanilla turned over. Y'all forgive me. I'm a little messy tonight. And that's it. So we're going to boil this. Get those apples good and cooked. Like I say, they're diced. Really nice looking. So, okay, let me check out the chat. I ain't drunk. My mouth's so dry. I could spit dust. Oh, spice cake, yes. I make a pumpkin bread that tastes a lot like spice cake, and I love it. Oh, thank you, Jenny. I'm trying. <laughs> I love your pots and kitchen equipment. Very professional looking. I actually, I owned, I was part owner in a restaurant for a long time. My first, my first job that was actually gave me a paycheck, you know, that wasn't like on the farm or me doing my, I always had a little business going. I always had a little hustle going, whether it was, Selling fruit, picking blackberries, making catnip bags. I had catnip that would grow to six feet. You thought I was growing hot. But um, I was always figuring out something to make money with. Somebody, in fact, that reminds me, somebody mentioned that um, while Rosie was making her reef, a reef, <laughs> somebody said that they used to make uh, grapevine rings. And I don't know if you all remember those, but we had a grape grapevines. I mean, our arbor, we had like, a whole row that was probably 50 yards. I mean, it was long. We had one that was purple grapes, we had one that was red, and then we had white. And my daddy would sometimes plant green beans underneath because the green beans would go up. It was a really easy way to pick your green beans too. But uh, you have to trim your grapevines. And he didn't want them to go over. So it wasn't like an arbor, it was just a row. And it was like they hung, like, like they do in a vineyard. And because my parents love jellies and things like that. So, anywho, he would, he would trim the grapevines, and uh, I had seen grapevine rings, and I was probably about 15, and I said, Dad, can I use this? And he said, who are you going to use this? Well, I said, I'm going to make rings and sell them. And, you know, I tore the shit out of my hands because you can't really work it around. You have to make a circle, and then you take the long piece, and you wrap it, and it tore the shit out of my hands. But I make so much money. It's not. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good business. Oh, Candy, thank you so much. Oh, where's Lavender? What the hell? I missed that one. Am I getting a troll? Because somebody's got to be ugly. Hi, Steve. I don't want to see her message. You know, people, why come in to be ugly? You know? That says more about them than me. Oh, Lordy, let's see what else is going on. It may be a fake one. I, I certainly hope. 
wait a minute, Judy. I missed it. Sorry. It was just a troll. Okay. Thank you so much, Steph. I appreciate it. Yeah, I, I ignore those people. It's not worth it. You know, I love, I honestly, Kyle, I saw you trolling. Y'all think I wasn't watching you. You're good. You're good. You're cracking me up. Oh, and of course, I love my, my favorite troll is Stewie. <laughs> I love me some Stewie. This is cooking. Now we want this. Did I put the, yeah, I did. <laughs> I told y'all I'm losing my mind. My memory is shot. I couldn't remember whether I put cornstarch in it. Okay, so this is starting to thicken up. We're going to keep it going. And then we're going to make our chocolate filling. And what we'll do is, while this is cooling, we'll get the chocolate filling ready. And by the time that's done, we'll be ready to uh, make our pies, get them all made up, and then we'll fry them. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much all there is to it. Oh, that's... You got him, frat boy. <laughs> that's cute. You know what? If you want to do a second troll account, you need to do that one, frat boy. <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh, I can't. Pokemon. Oh, that's too cute. I love the way you've done that. That is so cute. Hello. Yeah. Now, this chocolate that I'm going to make, might as well tell you what I'm doing this because the chocolate really doesn't take long. If you buy fried pies like in the store, you know, they're all different brands. And honestly, they're just not as good as homemade. Of course, that's the way it always works out. But they have like a pudding in the middle of it. And um, I don't like that. I don't want the texture. I like the outside to have a nice crispness to it and then and have a glaze on it, which I'm going to show you how I make glaze. Um, I, I don't like that, the pudding. I love pudding, but I don't like it with my crust. And it soaks into it when you use pudding because it's just too wet. So the... If you've ever had chocolate croissants, you know how they have the chocolate and it's it's not a gooey chocolate. It's it's more of a, a really beautiful, if you get a good one, it's a beautiful, uh, it's a stiff mixture that just oh, goes, it, it just lays there and the pastry stays nice and, uh, you know, it doesn't, doesn't make it soggy or anything like that. But um, let me see. So... That's what this one is, but you can put Nutella in them. I've seen people do that, and they're good. It's good. Of course, Nutella's got apparently more calories than uh, an entire cake. I remember Nutella when it first, the first discovered. I first discovered it, and it was when I was an old pair in Belgium. And um, in fact, Stellar, she's she knew exactly where I was in the university I went to. But a friend of mine there, uh, her name was Julie. She said, you got to try She was American. And, uh, of course, we became close friends. And she's like, you got to try this stuff. And I couldn't remember the name of it after I came back to the U.S. She's like, you put it on bread, and it makes it like cake. Cake? <laughs> Did someone say cake? Chocolate cake? I I really loved it. And I, I about starved to death there because I was a poor student. And, um, well, parents don't get paid a lot. It's mainly room and board, and then you get to go to school, and you get a little pocket money. And so, um, yeah, I drank a lot of beer because it was cheaper than water. I, my, my alcohol tolerance at the time. That may be what's wrong with my now. No, I actually have Wilson's disease. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah. And then Nutella came here and everybody was making a fuss. I said, oh, shit, that's the stuff I had. <laughs> Give me some. But you look at the calories on it. It's so much. But this has less calories. It's still got some calories in it, no lie. But, um, <laughs> I like taking, oh, God, graham crackers. Uh, yes, I'll eat anything graham crackers, just anything sweet. Oh, uh, let's see. Hello, misdemeanor. <laughs> from, from the M, wait a minute. I can't read it. MGTOW community, such a nice change over here. Oh, honey, you're welcome. Uh, you know what? I came into this, into the drama community before I ever started a channel and <laughs> they convinced me to start one. Um, I, I went on, people would have me on the panel, Peter Mon and Katie and different ones. Uh, and Peter actually talked me into, into starting a channel. And, uh, you know, and I really, I enjoyed it because there's so much crap that you have to put up with. And oh my Lord, I've had everything said about me. 
some of the biggest, some of the biggest bunch of bullshit you've ever heard in your life. I don't care. I am who I am. And those who like me can like me. And those who don't can, you know, as they say, it's mind over matter. <laughs> I don't mind and they don't matter. So my daughter sent me some chocolate from Germany. I've gone to, oh, what kind of, you know what? That's one of the things I discovered in Belgium was, you know, I was country girl, country kid, raised, you know, we had designer clothes, but as for eating anything more than a Hershey bar, I discovered Godiva chocolates. And literally, I have the box for the first, let me get to that. Um, I found Godiva chocolates, and I was like, oh, my God. And there was a shop that I would go by uh, walking on my way to class because, you know, the classrooms are all over the city if you've ever been there. It's really, it's Catholic University of Durban. And, um, I would go by it and I never had any money <laughs> with the lady who worked there behind the counter. I said, can I have just one? And she would, sometimes she'd just give it to me. Honestly, sometimes I, I pay, just paid for it. I would literally spend the last cent I had on chocolate. So, um, I don't know what kind you got, but I'm glad you enjoyed it. And you know, I saved that box, the first box of chocolate. It was the size of envelopes, you know, like a, I guess what, like a four by seven. Anyway, my first husband and I wrote each other for six, five, six months, you know, because back then long distance was so expensive. So we wrote several letters a week and I saved all these letters in that box. And I gave them when my daughter was ready to get married and she's divorced. Uh, that was a disaster. Um, I gave it to her and I said, here, you know, you should have these now on your brain. And she read them. And she said, Mom, I don't understand why you married Dad. And I'm like, what do you mean? And she said, all he ever talked about was himself <laughs> and what he wanted to buy. And it was never any romance to you. And I said, I didn't think about it. You know, I said, you know, maybe if you find my letters to him, you'll see more romance but yeah, it's, it's like I'm gonna buy a Ferrari and you know I just I really love my Rolex and all this stuff and you know it was which he's got the watch but he didn't he never got the car um obviously but anywho um yeah it was it was all about him okay this is thickening up and you can see the apples are getting nice and cooked let me see what I'm sure Ooh, that's gonna be so good now, I'm going to turn the heat down on this a little bit because I do not want to scorch my apples. And that can happen when you're with sugar and milk and things like that that can scorch. Okay. Let's see. Right, when I am now off to wrestle the duvet. Oh, sweetheart, thank you so much for coming in. And I really appreciate it. Hey, y'all subbed our Jan's reviews, please. You know, I'm so proud that she hit 1,000. You know how it feels when you hit that 1,000 and you're just like, ah, oh, I made it. Oh, my God. And even if you never use your super chat button, which, you know, I never ask for anything. Everything I make goes to uh, the shelter, except for my last live stream. It's going for an iron skillet because it, they, they, I was given orders. But, um, you yeah, know, but when you hit 1,000, that's when you can get approved. You have to have so many hours. I think it's still a thousand subs and what four thousand hours and uh, I don't know. It's I haven't looked at it in, in a good while, but um, you can get monetized. And I'm just like, oh, it, oh wait, it's a hundred for a super chat, and then it's a thousand to be monetized. Yeah, and you're like, oh, I can get approved. I'm gonna get approved for it. It took me from November until July, August. That, that was crazy. You're supposed, they're supposed to do it within a month. <laughs> they didn't. But anyway, hello from Columbia. Oh, did Miss Sabina, did she act ugly? Oh, that's a shame. Oh, no, there she is. She's back. Okay, good. That must have been a mess. Hello. I'm so glad you're here, Alexandra. Yeah, Jan's reviews is just a hoot. Let's see. Oh, my language. Oh, thank you, doll baby. Um, I live in West Virginia. I was uh, born and raised in Virginia. And um, I have a different accent than Eastern Virginia, which actually I was born in uh, Eastern Virginia. And um, up until 
I think I was four. We moved to um, back close to where all of our relatives are and you know, the Blue Ridge. And uh, I talked funny to everybody because I said hosts and most and things like that. Uh, it's just a different pronunciation. But of course, it's changed over the years. And when I was in radio, um, I started out as a DJ and then went to sales because that's where the money is. Um, I still did like I would do some news and I always did a bunch of commercials. They'd always get me to do commercials because I could lose my accent and have a Midwestern accent. Now I'm not as good now. I can't flip back and forth like I used to. But uh, thank you so much. I love hearing different accents and guessing where people are from. Um, I get a lot of people say that I sound like I'm from Georgia. And some people say I sound like I'm from Texas. When I lived in uh, Louisiana, you know, and Shreveport, I sounded like everybody else. It was my accent was, you know, a little little lighter. And but it's neat. And I just I enjoy it. I love hearing everybody talk. And um, I like meeting people from different places around the world. And, you know, because we travel a lot. So but I'm so glad you're here. Oh, you had a phone call, Jenny. Come on back, honey. I'm just getting these apples all thickened up because they're about they're about to the point where I'm ready to let them cool. Almost just a few minutes. Oh shit, I'm on top chat. Why did they do that? Can I just bitch for a minute? <laughs> bitch in my kitchen. Um, why are they putting chop chat up instead of live chat automatically? And then it'll flip back and forth, and I'm like. Why is this doing this? And it's not just when I'm live streaming, it's when I'm watching other live streams. Whether I'm on my phone, my laptop, the tablet, the TV, whatever, it keeps flipping. Of course, the TV we can't get the chat up for some reason, and it's driving me crazy because we have to use the phone or whatever and we watch the audio and get the audio and the picture uh, off the TV. But um, hi, Davin. Is it Davin? Where, wait a minute, I mean, it must be, uh, oh, Davina, there you go. You're in Scotland. Oh, cool. Where, where in Scotland are you? Alejandra, you know what? Just listen and you'll pick it up. Everybody who's around me, they start talking like me. Hey, Gypsy doll baby. It's a middle month for her too. Uh, thank you so much, Gypsy, for coming in. Now, if you don't know, Gypsy kept asking, what are biscuits? <laughs> what are what is what are these biscuits you speak of? Because they're biscuits, of course, are cookies. And uh, would you stop over there? <laughs> Sorry, I'm yelling at the dog like he's a kid. Um, but I said I'm gonna make biscuits, so you know what I'm talking about. And so that's one of the reasons that I put them in the video. That and we like to eat them. Uh, let's see, Jenny. I'm so glad you're here. And let's see. Yeah, the top chat thing, they need to quit that. They need to fix that. I, I have, uh, you know, I'm on the beta version, and they say, you know, you're testing it out. Tell us how you like it. And I'm like, everything but the dang top chat, get rid of that. Why Why would we want a top chat button? That means you can't see some of your people. That's just stupid. That's stupid. <laughs> All righty. I'm, I'm drinking Diet Coke. Every now and then, I want a Diet Coke with over ice. I don't know why. Okay, that's done. And I'm going to show you. I don't know where I'm going to pile all this stuff because it's all getting piled up. Let's see. Let me do this. I'm going to end up burning my armpit. If you watched... <laughs> okay, in case you can't tell, I'm a little goofy when I'm cooking or whatever. When I'm happy, I'm happy. I get goofy. But, you know, I sang uh, my whiskey song last time, and I have an earworm for you for this. <laughs> so, y'all are going to hate me. You'll be like, I got to get that out of my head. <laughs> I couldn't help it. So, okay, just a minute. I'll, I'll sing my little song for you. But it's so stupid. I'm just sitting here laughing. <laughs> All right. Watch this. You'll see how thick it is. See, I've got my little juice there. Now, that's not thick enough as it cools. Because we're going to leave this in the little bowl and it's going to cool off. Can you see? Isn't that pretty? Woo! That's hot. Oh, that's hot. Well, it came out off the stove, off the eye. Stupid if it wouldn't be hot, right? Okay. Be right back. I'm going to wash that pot. Because once again, 
Well, I used two pots, but you can take two less than a minute and wash the one you used. Isn't that right, Brian? You might as well go. You're not getting any of these. All right, dry it out. All right, get that off so we don't want to burn. I'm going to set this to the side so I don't knock it off because that would be my look. All righty. Just a minute. I gotta have. I'm gonna, I've got to go to the Gatorade. <laughs> Alejandra, you practice me all you want, doll baby. I've got about 100 videos. So, that's, so there's a lot. Jenny's going to be good, honestly. It smells so good in here. I want to say it smelled, I was talking earlier that um, it smelled better than those melt wax things, those senses. Did y'all buy those? I was so stupid. I bought, I got one sitting over there. I've got the kind of just plug in for the bathroom. I, all, every, I think I have one for every, every room in a house almost. And I had one to send with my husband at work. Do not buy those if you have animals or pets or you're just clumsy. I have wax in my carpet. I had wax in my, in the, um, the new set. Cause we bought, we've got all antiques upstairs through the great room. But then we bought, I said, let's buy a really nice new, like really comfortable. Cause you can't sit on, you know, antique, my antique furniture. I don't want you to sit on my antique furniture. I want you to sit somewhere comfortable. I, I had to clean it. It was the biggest mess. And of course the colors and everything in here is white. My carpet's white. Couch was uh, like off white. It was the biggest mess. And, it, it just, I wanted to pull my hair out. And I'm like, why didn't they make the sides higher? <laughs> but they didn't. They're all flat, I guess, so that it gets hot. But anyway, they smell good. But God, they were nice. All right. Anyway, so I've got it sitting there, but it's damn sure not. And you had to buy all those bulbs directly from, remember? And those bulbs were not cheap. And they just, they go right out. Okay. We're making a chocolate filling. I'm going to read the recipe to you, and then you'll see me do it. But it's two cups of sugar, six tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder, and half a cup, which is one stick of butter, melted. Okay? I'm going to start with that. Sounds good, doesn't it? How can you go wrong with butter and sugar and cocoa? You can't. You could just, oh, shoot. What did I hit? Oh, here you go. <laughs> My <book> got it. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. We need to melt the butter first. I'm about out of butter. Yeah, and I'm panicking. I told my husband, I said, you're going to have to go back to the grocery store this evening. He was like, well, I said, was, uh, I have three and a half sticks of butter left. It's getting serious, y'all. <laughs> we have to go scout supplies. I don't know if ever anybody watched uh, American Horror Story. I love that. I love this season the way it's starting now. I'll be honest with you because I like all the characters uh, so far. A little weird, but that's all right. I can't get a hold of it. Anyway, it, it's a little weird. Scared the crap out of me in the beginning. Did you all, did anybody else jump? Oh my God. Uh, I, if, I'm not going to try to, but scared the shit out of me. <laughs> And I was like, oh, it's a bugger. And, um, yeah. So, but I did not like uh, Hotel. I did not like uh, the Roanoke. It it did make sense. You almost needed a synopsis in the script to understand what everybody was doing in the back. So it was just, I did not like it. I did not think the writing was good. This, I'm enjoying it. Something's different. It's unique. And you know what, Ryan Murphy is so good at that. I think he got distracted or... He did so much with the Betty David John, the Betty Davis and Joan Crawford feud 
That was fantastic. His head must have been on that and not on the American Horror Story. That's all I can figure out. Okay, so I'm melting a stick of butter. We'll take just a minute. But did y'all watch it? More butter. Gotta have butter. <laughs> I need some butter. Like I said, I'm like, I'm like the red-headed paladin that's not racist. <laughs> yeah, I said it. Oh, yeah. Nutella, if you haven't had Nutella, you can put it in, in these, and it's just, ooh. But it's high in calories. This is a little less, actually. They say that a lot, though. In fact, um, I have to tell you how this. Okay, when, when I fix dinner, whatever I fix, you know, I have to eat like just a couple bites and go on. You'd think I'd be skinny, but I'm not. Um, anyway, and I can't eat all the sugar -y stuff. And so, you know, but I love making it. So a lot of it ends up going with him to work or whatever. And it used to go with me, the officer. You know, it was it's just fun. But um, when we eat dinner, he's like, I'm too full to eat dessert. I'm like, okay, that's fine. You can have later, whatever. That cobbler's been breakfast the last few mornings. Because he's like, that's really good. I'm like, are you eating ice cream with it for breakfast? Like, mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, hi, baby. As long as you're happy, I'm happy. <laughs> oh, Lord. But, yeah, he's so cute. He's like, that's better. That's better than eating, like, um, and I guess it is. It's better than eating, like, a toaster strudel or something like that. It actually, that has more calories than all those preservatives in it. So I'd much rather him eat my homemade cobbler. Okay, I'm going to add uh, two cups of sugar. Sugar. Oh, honey. Da, 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 da. Oh, sugar, sugar. There's my ah! <laughs> I will stand myself. That was almost like that commercial where the scissors drop off and it goes right between that man's feet. That's about where that went. Um I'm gonna turn this down. This is a half a cup measure, so we're gonna do four of these. Let's make sure I count right because I've done that wrong before. I'm like, oh, it's this thing. I'm like, oh, because I put too much of this in it because I can't count. There's one, two, three. Then at the fourth one, he goes, crunch. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about except the owl for the uh, Tootsie Pops. How many licks does it take to get to the center of Tootsie Pops? Three and a crunch. All right, now. This is hot, so you don't want it to get too hot, but you want that sugar to get all in. Oh, get up all in that butter. I'm gonna put that in together. Now we've got uh, six tablespoons unsweetened cocoa to put in there, cocoa powder, and that's it. A little bit, of, I'm, I'm gonna put a touch of vanilla. Is that right, two cups? Unsweetened cocoa powder, one stick of butter melted. Okay. Let me check my oven because I'm thinking there's something else that goes in there and I don't want to screw up. I would be very unhappy if I screwed up. Hang on. Y'all talk to much yourselves. So I apologize. Come on, come up. I have got all, I need to organize this and it's my, it's my fault. Y'all know I'm not organized. I have got so many recipes and I take, I take other people's recipes and my recipes and then I play with them. So I change it all. And I try to make sure that, you know, I write everything down right. But I think, I'm not sure if I copied this correctly because once again, I'm technologically challenged. Oh, I did forget. I know I was supposed to. I know that. Oh, shoot. Hang on just a second. Damn it, it keeps popping back. Come on, you little bugger. No, that's right. Three and a touch of vanilla. Okay. Let's say three. No, two cups of sugar. Six tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder. Urgh. 
and then the butter. Okay. Now I'm taking this off the heat a little bit. I do not want this to get too awful hot because remember, it's going to cook inside that fried pie, and all of goodness is going to be mixed up. It's going to have a nice little feel to it, like like a good chocolate croissant. And if you haven't had a chocolate croissant, I feel sorry for you, and you need to call me. <laughs> I will make you some chocolate croissants for a, for, for a price <laughs> and ship them to you. I will freeze them and ship them to you like I do my daughter. I have to make her care packages, which is real hard where she is in Mexico because they literally don't have regular postal service. I'm going to have to send it by, like, DHL or something. All right. We'll take that half on and half off, and we're going to put six tablespoons. Yep. Come on, you booger. And I don't know why I do this. Look, I have about three, four different ones. I have, like, the dark chocolate, the light chocolate, the regular chocolate. And yeah, and I keep opening up different ones. But I didn't want to put dark in here. I don't like the dark chocolate in these as much. It just, I mean, I like dark chocolates, don't get me wrong, but, you know, and there are some recipes that you just cannot beat putting dark chocolate in, but uh, this is not one of them, so this is just good old Hershey's cocoa, it's uh, it's natural, unsweetened, you can get the expensive fancy kind if you want, I used to do that, what was I, what am I doing that for, one, two, because nobody could tell the much of a difference. You had to have a gourmet palette to do it. Three. <laughs> crunch. Four is always going to be crunch. Five. Not quite a full six because I've been rounding those out. You do not want to overdo it because it changes the texture a little bit. Okay. Mixy mix. Mix it all up. And you see it's kind of it's kind of a dry mixture. I'll do the dry mixture. It's got the butter in it, but that's really it. But it's this is gonna be nice inside of that because of course the fried pies, they got oil in them, and it soaks in and the chocolate just it just responds really well to it and it's not gooey. I just don't like that gooey texture, and it that messes up the crust. This does not mess up the crust. You know, like you want your you want your fruit filling to be, you know, thick enough to where when you when you get them in the oil, that it's gonna cook the outside. It's gonna make a nice dough. The dough, bleh, I can't talk. Your pie crust is gonna be crisp on the outside, cooked all the way through, and because your apples are already cooked, you don't have to cook it any longer, and it doesn't run the dough. Um, this is the same way. This does not need to be cooked any longer because it's just sugar and melted butter and cocoa. Okay, so we want to mix that up. And see, I'm kind of holding it near the near the heat, but not totally on it, so it's warmed. But it's pretty. I want to make sure I get it all good mixed up with my wooden spoon. And I don't know why, but my wooden spoons keep disappearing too. I was putting the stuff away today, and I'm like, why am I down? to one wooden spoon. I had about 10. <laughs> I will buy some more. Can't hurt, right? But I don't know. Things disappear in this house. Okay. That's, that's your chocolate filling. This over here. Okay. I turned off so I don't burn myself. And now I'm going to pour this out into this bowl because Honestly, the pot takes up too much room. I'm going to stick this over there in the sink to wash. And I'm going to bring my cutting board back. I need my stove to cool off. And after where I can put my cutting board on it. Boom. That's enough to make ears ring. I'm sorry for anybody who's got headphones in. Oops. Sorry. All right. Now, let me sit this down for just a second. I'll show you. It was very powdery when I was mixing it. But as it starts to cool, you'll see, well, no, you can't really see. It hangs together. Um, the butter, it starts soaking into the sugar real good. And it's crumbly. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> I'm 
sort of stupid about heat today. But it's it's crumbly, but it's not um not wet. You don't want it real wet. So that's perfect for what I want to do. All right. Like this. Cool. Let me wash this. Well, I'll just stick it in here. I don't guess I'll hurry today. I'm getting my cutting board. And my rolling pin. And we're going to make some fried appetizers in just a second. This has got to cool off though first. And let's check what's going on. Tim is out chat. Have y'all learned anything? Are you enjoying it? Oh. Kyle, I searched your channel, but I didn't see. All I have to do is um, touch Kyle's name. And uh, it'll take you to, it'll say at the bottom, go to channel. And it'll actually open up if, like, I know on my phone, I do that all the time. Um, and I just hit go to channel. And it'll leave this going when you hear it. But it'll open that up or open up another tab if you're on a laptop or something. And then you can subscribe and go back and watch videos of different people. Yeah, Kyle, um, who all do you do reaction videos of? My image would be ruined. You just make fun of me. You know what? I have no problem with somebody doing parodies, making fun, you know. Like I say, I love a good troll. It, you have to be smart to be a good troll. And there are some really good trolls out there. And they make parody videos. And I tell you what, um, Rosie, you still in here? Is that TM Movies that does all, takes all the different movie clips and like puts puts the vocals behind? He should go work professionally and film. Um, I have been so impressed. And then the cartoons and things like that. I was like, he is talented. He's a talented little booger. And um, I, yeah, but that's the thing you want. If you're going to troll, troll well. Whatever you do, do well. You know, it's real easy to go in to chat and just go in and say ugly things, just cuss and cuss them and say, you're a piece of shit and, you know, I hate your guts and you should, you know, leave YouTube and all this stuff. That takes absolutely no brain power. Now, y'all know it. It's like, that that's the easiest falling off step or fall off log, whatever. But to do something so creative and funny and uh and he does them quickly like his reactions it stuff that'll happen and in like a few hours he has a video up and i'm like oh that's good and he'll it's clever you know i love that good trolling like that um that doesn't bother me a bit i love it but just to go in someone's chat or to make a video insulting someone or like a lot of them do, they just make shit up. That takes, that's just a waste of time. It's not even worth watching or reading. And, uh, you know, there's no talent in it. It just, it just comes across as tacky and jealous. So I don't like that. But if you have good parodies, people left me nice comments. Hey, then, you know, if people like your stuff, that says something. Unless they're all people who just happen to hate who you're talking about. They're like, yeah, they're a piece of shit. Uh -uh. <laughs> There's a difference in that. But, um, yeah, if you do it, do it well. And, um, you know, so I, I don't mind that at all. But it's, you know, I, I like creative people. I like people who are smart and they think about things. And, you know, um, but and I'm always impressed with people who edit well, who can who can make videos with all the edits and you know, because I I'm trying to live but I'm trying to learn iMovie, to be honest. It's my eyes are crossing, but I'm so used to doing Windows. I really need to get all of that out of my head. I mean, I still have my my you know laptop, but I like the Mac better. It's you know, it's so much faster and you know, I just gotta learn where all the fans are and what everything does. Yeah, be a smart troll. Yes, TM, TM is, is absolute TM movies. Oh my gosh. <laughs> when and when the boy people from the boy first started coming in, um, I was going through different people who were, you know, watching and in the chats and you know, because I always look and see who's got a channel and who's got videos over there. Honest goodness, that's that was he's just amazing. If it's a he, she, whoever. I don't care. They should be in Hollywood getting paid some big money for that. But, um, 
Thank you, Flyboy. Everybody does have a crush on Rosie. And let me tell you, I sent, I sent Rosie's picture. I took a screenshot of you, uh, Rosie. I think the first time I saw you in your uh, Dorito bikini, I'm, I think it was a silver one. And I said, I want one of these bikinis. And my husband said, honey, you get every color. <laughs> I said it'd be like Christmas. He loves me no matter how fat I am or whatever. But um, I, I don't think, Rosie told me those things stick because I'm like, that would not there would, there would be a disaster. <laughs> I couldn't even go out in my yard. And uh, but yeah, it's but I everybody loves Rosie. You cannot help but love Rosie. And I'll have her videos on, and he'll be watching. And he he just gets the biggest kick out of it. And she's always so positive and friendly. So how can you not love friendly people? But uh, you know, I just I that's what I like is to support channels that are happy and you know that people enjoy making the videos doing the live stream and people enjoy watching it. And, uh, you know, like I say, it's, it's so refreshing. It really is. And Rosie, I have to say, you know, I have worked with so many patients who struggle with gender issues and sexuality issues. And especially like, I guess from about puberty through adulthood. And I loved your video explaining you know about transgender and then you had the you know what it is what you felt and then you had your story you know in an overview beautifully done beautifully done standing there in the beginning telling your story and it was so well done and then you had the link to the people who were doing the survey and i have been saying that exact same thing you know um are gay people born that way or do they choose? And then anybody who said choose, they'd say, okay, when did you choose to be striped? And everybody was like, that's a good question. I never thought of it that way. I have been saying that so long. I love that video. I have not, I'd never seen it before, but I have said that. Beat my head against the wall. <laughs> to some people who just, they, they don't get it. And I was I was just really impressed and thank you for doing that and um, I actually shared that with uh, a couple of different groups that you know I, I, I mentor I'm not they're not patients or anything like that but they come to me and talk and you know and I'm like you all need this. and they everybody was like oh my god that's so good thank you so thank you Rosie from <laughs> the young people that I talk to those who are struggling um, I just I'm overwhelmed. Oh yeah, she has. There's nobody like like her. That's a, that's the truth. My brother said that to me when he came out to me. Ah, uh, I just I have so many friends who went through it, and then with the kids that I work with, you know, I don't understand how somebody could not understand it. You know, it's. And yes, I'm a psychologist. I'm supposed to understand people, I guess, a little better. And but it, there's some things that you just go, what? You know. But anyway, let me get some Gatorade. Then we're gonna get this started. This is the. Um, it's not the unsweet. It's it's okay. I have the unsweet sometimes. But this is this has uh, very little sugar in it, just a little tad. And it actually works better because, like, I'm not eating right now. And I haven't eaten since, I don't know, about 12.30. So my blood sugar is going to start to go down a little bit. So a little bit, I mean, it's like 50 calories for the whole bottle. It's not bad. I'm going to move this because I'm an idiot. And I forgot. I got to the pies first. All right. Let me take the chocolate over here. And I'm going to get my dough. Which should be good and chilled. And it is. <laughs> Brian, you're not getting any. You can't have these. Oh, even though I love you. And yes, I'm one of those people that talks stupid to my dog. I don't care. It's my baby. All right. If you hear anything crash, it's all this crap I've got up here. Because <laughs> I don't have a lot of room on this side of my kitchen. And everywhere else has got uh, doodads and knickknacks. So, so we'll just do it over here. Plus, the way I can set the laptop up makes for it to be easier and you all can see what I'm doing. 
since it is on the stove. All righty. I'm going to wipe this off just a little bit. I'm going to drop a little bit of water on it. All right, my dough is good and stiff. See? That's good. It didn't take long. Long enough to do the filling. All right, before I start anything, I'm going to fly. There it is. I'm going to sprinkle some flour. I'm not going to, I'm going to try not to beat this dough to death, but it does have to be. And you can feel it. It's good mixed. The, everything's everything's blended well. and Yeah, but I'm going to get this all rolled out. And I want it to be about between an eighth and a fourth of an inch. And I don't sift this flour. But you can see that's just as smooth. Look at that. It's a good little puff pastry. It's an easy recipe. And, you know, I used to be afraid of puff pastry. I used to just buy it. I'd be like, I ain't messing with it because I'll screw it up. But this is so easy. I'm like, why was I afraid? You know, oftentimes we're afraid of things that we just don't know or we've never experienced. Um, everybody gets to a point in our life that seems like, and we all do this, where we're like, eh, I'm not so brave anymore. I'm not jumping out of an airplane skydiving. Oh, that's so good. That's, oh, that's perfect. Um, we get a little more cautious as we get older, and I think that's because we have been through things, and I know I have. Like, I, I can't do a lot of the things that I, I would have done 20 years ago because, frankly, my body couldn't take it. I mean, we used to kayak, and, you know, Lord, we'd ride down the New River in the inner tubes, and we'd have our coolers in a tube, and us in another. Now, I'm going to work this dough with the rolling pin. And as you can see, I do not want this dough to be dry, but I don't want it to be real wet. I want it to be just right for my pies. And it's so easy to roll. I want it nice and cool. And that's why I had to wait until my, till my burners cooled down because it will, the heat, of course, will come through. And if it's real hot, like it's cooled off now, and where this is chilled, it's just right. It's rolling real pretty. Um, if you're, see, oops, I got that too thin right there. That's all right. We just put it back together. There's nothing in the kitchen you can't fix one way or another. Kind of like with the computer, they say you can't, can't really screw it up, or they used to. Now I think you can. <laughs> all right. So that needs a little more in the middle. And I can't find my icing knife. I know I put it somewhere, so I would remember where it was. And I forgot where it was. But um, you want this to be cool. And I can't wait till I get my countertops done because I'm getting marble countertops. Specifically so, I can do this right on the counter. It keeps it good and cool. Marble naturally stays cooler than the room temperature. All right. We're going to do this. Is that pin enough? Pin up. I think it's just a little too thick right there. And it may stick on me. Because I may not have put enough flour underneath. If it does, I just ball it up and do it again. All right. Now, here's the thing. They're your pies. You can make them cut like this, or you can do it like we traditionally do. You take a small saucer, and you put it on there. You take your knife. You just ring it around it. Make a sharp knife if it's a dull knife, it'll drag the dough if the dough is warm at all. Okay. Peel the dough away. Okay, that's not too bad. It's a little damp, but not bad. All right. A little thick right there, too. I'm glad I didn't roll too out. All right. I'm gonna just mush it in a ball. That's about the size you want. That's about, about the size of your hand. Now let me go get my apples. Oh, that's good, that's thick. Maybe not as thick as I want, but I will use a slotted spoon. Make sure I get rid of any excess with it. Now, I'm gonna use that. I've got the barbecue spatula to get it to work. I'm gonna slide that underneath. 
just like I would if I was using an icing knife, which I can't find. I go through and I organize my kitchen. Like I said, I love my husband. I can't find shit when he puts it up. That's just the way it is. Oh, that's coming up good. Okay, it's starting to get a little warm though. So let's turn it over. And it went out of shape. So I'm gonna add a little bit more flour to it. Not enough to make it dry, but just enough to where I can play with it. And I'm gonna turn it over again and do this side. Just a little bit. Now this is the wetter side. I think that's a little big, to be honest. It's a little thick. All right, but it work. I'll take my my apples. You don't want a bunch of water on it, and you do not want to overload these pies because uh, you'll regret it. I'm gonna do this right, pretty much in the middle. Well, actually, a little to one side. And all you do, this is so easy. All you do is pull a little bit, roll it over. I always, now I always roll mine over further. It just works better for me. And I'm gonna pat that down. See where that is? All the way around there. And I just, I'm just feeling where the feeling is. And it, cause you can feel a little lot, you can see it. I see it coming up. And I'll take my knife. I'm gonna go around it. Shit, I need a fork. Somebody get me a fork. <laughs> my husband's not here. He said I needed my helper. Make sure you do not get apple juice on your pie crust. Okay, you do not want this to be like apple, because if you're doing like we are not doing a couple different fillings, then you don't want one to taste like the other. Get my fork. Ooh, I need to stir that. Hang on, just a sec. Ooh, it smells good. Now, set that over there. I'm trying to keep things neat. I really am. Okay, I'm going to take my fork. And if you want to do it with a little water, you can. If it's not sticking, mine's sticking fine. When your dough's a little warm, you really don't need to put egg between the two pieces and you don't want to add any extra water because these are going to sit for a minute. I'm going to show you a little trick of it. See how I want to do that? I make it pretty. Like I said, whatever you make, make it pretty. If it's ugly, it still tastes the same. <laughs> make it pretty. All right. I cannot believe. What has he done with my spatulas? Oh, well. Let's see if we can slide this baby up. Yeah. Oh, 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 that's gonna look. Oh, that's gonna be pretty. Come on, baby. There we go. That's what they look like before you cook them. I'm gonna put them on a plate. I'm gonna make a few, and then we're gonna stick them in the refrigerator while I make the others. And because you want them chilled, and I, it's gonna take me a little bit to get the oil heated up to get all these filled. And I'm not gonna make the whole batch because. That would be kind of pointless, wouldn't it? I'm just gonna tear off a piece. Get my flour back on the board. Okay. And you can play with this dough. This is not biscuit dough, so you can play with it. Brian, what are you doing? Go on. He's looking up at me and he's like touching my foot. <laughs> he's scared me for a second, but he's like, Ooh. he's probably hungry. I do not feed the dogs always have dry food out. And um but when it comes to their nightly wet food, because both dogs were rescues and their owners had spoiled them, which is fine. We don't like spoiled dogs around here. But uh, yeah, they have to have some wet food because otherwise, well, Brian was losing weight really bad. Spanky, God rest his soul. He, he would eat the dry food, but they really, Marla and Brian, they, they have to have soft. They will not survive on the dry. And that's okay. We don't mind spoiling our babies, do we? All right. Now let's see how that fits against the... Yeah, so I want them about the same size. So I'm going to roll a little more this way. As you can see, just be sweet to it. Play with it. 
it's a little wet, but that's okay. We still had it. Love on it. I used to say that to Madeline. when I'd say, Mom, you know, when you're cooking, you gotta love on it. She'd say, Mom, you're so stupid. You're so silly, quit. And I'm like, it's the truth. Now, that's pretty darn close. So, we're gonna just take some of the pie filling. So you don't have to cut them out perfectly if you don't want to, because it goes by your feeling. All right, so let's put this over here. You can see how I'm placing it. Uh, giving me, oh, there we go, I escaped. Giving me a little room between the edge. And then we're gonna pull it over. Oh, so pretty. And like I say, I'll just pull it over a little further. I'll touch around it. These are so good. I mean, literally, it, if you make these, it, you'll be grabbing them. And unlike uh, a regular pie, you do not have to flute it. I'm not flute. That's flute. That's, I'm getting tired. I've been up since the butt crack it on. Come on, Echo. I'm losing all stuff. There it is. Oh, there we go. Look at that little booger. I'll be good. I might just treat myself to one. Oh, I've been pretty good. There we go. Oh, it squirted. Did you hear that? It went. <laughs> All right, let me get the fork. And if it does squirt a little bit, that's okay. Just make sure that when you crimp the edges, that uh, you do get the dough sealed because for the it's wet and it just came out and yeah, make it gooey but we're going to chill it and it should and the apple will pick it up even further all right <laughs> i can't believe i'm using this it's cracking me up all right let's get this baby up look how oh look how pretty that is even if it did squirt on us all right Let's get the chocolate. Who wants chocolate? Let me put this over here so I don't throw it. And what I'll do is we'll make two apples and a chocolate for two, and then we'll fry them up, and then I'll make the rest of them after the live stream, because otherwise we're gonna be here a while. And My dough is starting to get a little warm. That's okay. I can stick it back in. I've got that bag sitting right here. And I can always stick it back in the fridge. Just put it in a ball, mash it out, get the air out of there, and put it in the fridge. This this dough will last if you put it in the refrigerator um, and chill it like I do. It can stay in there several days and it'll be fine. And I have frozen this this type of crust as well, and it turned out just fine. Absolutely no problem. Okay, let's roll this baby out. That's, we're going to put the chocolate in it. Okay. That's looking just right. You want it to be really even so it fries even. Watch me get into frying it and fall apart. That would be my look. That's what I've been terrified of. That why well, I haven't done a live stream cooking before uh, I did the one on the fillet because I'm like, I'm terrified I'm going to burn something or it's going to just fall all apart. And how embarrassing would that be? I mean, seriously. Okay. Now with this chocolate, as you can see, it's hanging together nicely. It's like just chocolate sugar, butter. Well, that's what it is. Butter. All right. Do not overload the pies with anything because then they don't get enough crimping and there's too much in the middle, then you really can't eat it comfortably. Remember, these are meant to be eaten with your hands, not a fork. And if you put so much stuff in the middle, we get greedy, but <laughs> we want it all in the middle. But um, seriously, it's better to have a little bit and just eat two pies. I mean, shoot, they're good. Eat two of them rather than overloading one and having a huge mess. And especially with chocolate, you don't want it. Shut up. Um, 
You don't want the chocolate all over you. And I have done that. I have made the mistakes. And now chocolate, you don't need as much around the edge. You don't need as much of a cramped edge on it. Because the chocolate is not damp like the apples are. And if you don't want apples, somebody, um, who was it? Who asked me? They said, um, I think it was Candy Kisses said she had fresh peaches. She was going to do uh, my peach cobbler. She had fresh peaches and wanted to know how to do it. Well, you, it's actually just as easy or easier. Um, put your fresh peaches in a pot with enough water. You have to peel them, of course, and put them into slices. And you want your slices not to be real thick. You want them about, you know, maybe half an inch thick at the thickest part. And um, just to have your peach slices. Oh, Lord, my husband's coming in. You're going to hear the dog go crazy. So if you have earbuds in, take them out. I think that was him. Hi, is that you? Maybe not. Maybe I'm hearing boogers. <laughs> Maybe there's boogers in my house. Spooks. Woo. There's spooks in here. Let the cowardly lion see it. Okay. Now this one's a little smaller. You make them whatever size you want. Look at that. And see how pretty the cramped edge is? See, that's just nice. And honestly, you can make them look better than the store-bought ones. And you know what? These are great if um, you want to fix the, like, you know how, like we have different festivals and things. And people, different booths make homemade stuff. And like, um, <laughs> my dad is a donut fanatic. Um, I can tell you stories about him and donuts. It's so funny. But they always have, um, is it the Mennonites or the Amish that do it? I think it's Mennonites that live near them. And the, the ladies always come and make homemade donuts. And my dad will buy one, and then he'll go get in the line again, and he'll eat his donut while he's in line. And literally, because they make them and sell them so fast. And um, it's just cute. <laughs> but... Um, if you make things like for a bake sale, these are really good. People people grab them, snatch them up, and you can get, you know, five bucks a pop for them. Because you know how overpriced stuff is at fairs and uh, fundraisers. Now, I'm going to take my dough, boil it up, get my bag here. Because remember, I turned it inside out so it made it easier. Well, it fell out, didn't it? That was wrong. But anyway, just put it back in. Zip it part way, like leave about an inch at the end. Mush it. Get all the air out. Look at that. I'm gonna take it over here. I'm gonna mush it just a little bit more. Put it in there to keep it chilled. Get the chocolate out of the way, because we're going to start frying. Phew, it's getting warm in this kitchen. All right, let's get all this out of the way, because we may make a mess. Probably will, no, I mean. That's all right. Messes can be cleaned, can't they? Get this out of the way. Now, if you didn't see my other cooking video, I do not wash my rolling pin because that would take the oil out of it. You don't want to do that. You don't don't wash a iron skillet with soap. You can rinse it with water and just wipe it out. You want to keep it seasoned. It's the same way with the with a rolling pin. Okay. Now, where's my skillet? Put this over there. Put away that eggshell. Okay. So I don't set the bag on fire. All right. Let me sit back down. Before you start doing this, before you make fried pies, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, you will never know how hot something is. <laughs> like oil. Or when you're making candies, or especially caramel, Lord, um, <laughs> stories. You need a candy thermometer. 
You need something that you can stick into it, whether it's candy, you call it a candy thermometer or just a cooking thermometer. And mine is right here. And I just throw it in the floor. I knew I'd be dropping stuff. Now forgive me. Before you put your oil in, there's my rag. Make sure it's wiped off really good. I have a little bleach rag. It's got a little water and bleach. You need your candy thermometer because this has got to get up to 375. And if you have an oven like mine, you can't gauge it at all. Um, if you have a deep fryer, you can, you know, you can do these in a good deep fryer. I don't have one. I used to have a fry baby. It disappeared. Holy leave more shit. I'm using canola oil. Go on. You're not getting, go. You you cannot be up here. I'm sorry. I love you too, Daddy Holson. Go on now. <laughs> oh Lord, he's a mess. I know. <laughs> All right, you need to. That's my refrigerator turning on. My dog sneezing at me. Oh Lord, there's how many? You need a good amount of oil. Some places, some recipes, they say use two inches. <sighs> I'm not to measure this. That's not quite an inch. You know what? With these, it doesn't matter. Because I saved my oil. Yes, I do. I just put it in a, after I'm done with it, I let it cool. And I'll put it in a mason jar and uh, stick it in the fridge. Or put it in the freezer. Usually the fridge because I need oil always again. Okay, so let this oil heat up. And when it's the right temperature, we just drop these in, let them fry to golden brown, and uh, you put them on on a plate with a paper towel and they drain. I got to do uh, the glaze. That's really easy. Let me grab my pot over here. I gotta wash it off real quick. Please talk amongst yourselves, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my gosh, that smells good. handles towards the inside that way when you go by there's less chance of you knocking a bunch of crap off okay I'm using a medium saucepan and I'm gonna make a real easy glaze takes no time to do it literally and so I don't tell you wrong once again this will be in the with the directions and the other recipes along with the recipe for condensed milk <laughs> Let's see. Okay, here we go. It's two and a half cups powdered sugar and a third cup of milk. And you can use condensed milk if you want. Makes it a little thicker. Uh, I think everybody's notifications are going off. All right. Here we go. Oh, don't drop. Don't drop. Get my powder. I can, this is another thing that I keep a lot of. This butter, chocolate chips, and every kind of flour you can think of. And somebody mentioned using almond flour the other day, and I was like, oh, I haven't, I can't get that around here. I have to order it. My husband doesn't really care for the things that I make with the almond flour. He's like, yeah, they're not my favorite desserts, which is fine. So I usually don't keep it on hand unless it's like right next to Christmas. Kind of like, uh, I have the ingredients for Mars pan, but I never use them for, but for Christmas, and it's a pain in the ass to work with anyway, so why bother? And, woo! So it's two and a half. I'm going to set something on fire here, probably my phone, because I can't move it around. All right, let's get that on the eye. Now let's get to measure. I'm just using my half cup. And once again, this is one of those recipes where 
you can guess. Well, shit, I should cut that different. I'm so professional. Oh, good Lord. I'll just take the whole top off. And then I really will spill it, won't I? <laughs> all right. Here, do Brian, you'd eat it, wouldn't you, honey? You would eat all the powdered sugars. Yeah, if you drop sugar on the floor, oh, you can be assured that he's going to be there. There we go. He's no dummy, are you, honey? Ah, oh, okay. See, I overspilled, but that's okay. I'll probably get an extra fourth of a cup, which will not hurt a thing because it's my icing and I'll do what I want with it. Two. Three. Oh, see, but I caught that one. All right, that's going to be rounded, so that's where we're going to end it. I got a little bit over in the beginning, so we're all good. Now, it's we're going to put the third cup of milk. You know what? I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla to this as well because I think it's just not right unless you have a little vanilla in it. It just tastes better. Okay. Do I have a third of a cup measure? There's Daddy. Hold your ears. Boys. 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 I'm going to just use the half cup measure and, and kind of know where a third is. If you're not sure, make sure you have all your measuring cups out and be organized. I'm like, me. Hey. There you go. All right. That. And I'm going to put about a half a teaspoon of vanilla. In it. Do, do, do. Where's my vanilla? There it is. And as you can see, I'm using Ryan, really. Behave. He's always, when my husband comes home, he has to uh, howl. And then he gets Merlot to howling. And it's like they've never seen this man before. <laughs> He's here all the time. He lives here. All right, half a teaspoon or so. This is one of those things that exact measurements are important. And like I said, you can use condensed milk if you want. If you've made a bunch like me, you know, and you want to use it up. Cool. Now, I'm going to get my whisk. My oil is heating. You can start to see. If you have light on the other side and you're looking at it, I don't, I don't think you can see it on this camera. It's just not. It, it's so, it, it's like just waves going across and it's the heat. All right, so let's. Mix up this glaze. And if you're doing a cake and you don't want to put icing on it, but you just want like, like with a pound cake, I've done it with angel food cake, this is a nice little place for it. There you go. Get all the lumps out of it. You just heat it enough to where the lumps are at. And uh, it kind of gets all absorbed. So I'm gonna see if I can stir. Let's see what's going on. Oh no, he didn't sneeze on the bus. He was in the floor over there and uh, he started out of here and they ended up over there when he started sneezing. So he was far, far away. But yeah, if he didn't, he would have had to jump about five, four and a half feet. And he's a little wiener. <laughs> All right. Go. He's up there changing clothes. I need to come down here if you want. I promise I won't put you on camera. <laughs> that might be on camera. Okay, I'm just warming that up. Now let's take the candy thermometer, turn it on. It's all Fahrenheit. It is 71.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Wait a minute, it's warming up. I always wondered what the temperature is in the kitchen. And my grandparents used to have a thermometer in their kitchen. And then it was connected to one outside so you could see the difference. It was on the fence. They had a white picket fence. Okay, we are at, oh, it's going over 200. We're doing good. 240, 246, 249. Keep going, baby. Come on, get to 350. Fry some pies. Eat some pies. It's still going up. Okay, I'm going to. It's heating pretty good. I'll have to get up a little bit higher, make sure I'm centered on it. I always make sure that your pots and skillets are centered. All right, what's going on in the chat? Oh, get rid of all these stupid notifications. 
Although I have to remember to watch Wendy Williams. I never catch her during the day. And I really enjoy her. I really just like hot topics. Some of the guests I don't care for, but what Rosie say, honey? I missed it. There's pirate hot dog, baby. Oh Lord, are we having an argument here? Y'all leave my pirate alone. Steph, it's okay, honey. This is taking longer than uh, I actually had thought. But you come back and watch the rest of it and you can see how they turn out. <laughs> no glaze on yours. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, the glaze is totally worth it. And we are at 310 and rising. So we're almost there. You want to make sure that uh, you get you get your oil to the right temperature. Otherwise, you're going to end up with non-puffing uh overcooked pies because it takes too long to get to that beautiful shade of brown oh yeah my hair's all the way we can see i got a lot of hair and my husband likes it long so i'm not cutting it um which i've always i've always really had long hair i've had it cut short twice in my life and i didn't like it either time it just did not suit me and then when i went back to school uh we so in you know, hey baby, <laughs> he's like, I'm not talking. I'm not getting on camera. Um, one of the things that we do when we're grieving, especially women, men do it too, just sometimes. But we cut our hair, and that's why you see a lot of older ladies with really short hair. You can wear long hair all your life. Um, I know relatives of mine that were very old fashioned, and the women never cut their hair. And, you know, and they weren't like, it wasn't a religious thing. It was just a cultural thing. And, but when we grieve, whether it's going through divorce, a death in the family, it seems like the women that I interviewed, I did, I interviewed and did a, a my report, uh, everybody cut their hair after their mother died, which was interesting to me. But I know women, oh, we're almost there. But I know women who, like, as soon as they got a divorce, they drastically lost weight. Not just, and then they get their hair cut off. But if you ask most men, they like long hair. So it's a way of protecting yourself. You know, my, my thesis was we protect ourselves by changing our physical appearance. Like um, we want our hair short, you know, we wear black, which black is very flattering. <laughs> Many of us, if we're wearing the right clothes. Um, let's see, I'll turn it down just a little bit. But we do things, we isolate ourselves. You know, we're not as friendly and open in public. And that's a part of our grieving process for a lot of us. But then again, there are other women who just want their hair short and they look good in it and God love them, God bless them. I don't. <laughs> not one of them. Okay. We are at uh, 360, which is fine. We want to make sure we're 350 to 375. Let's, now my little one is my chocolate one. And I, believe it or not, I did that on purpose. I do do some of this stuff on purpose. Okay, so that will hang together. Lord, watch it fall apart, and then I'll be mad. That looks good. That's going to be pretty. Okay, gently. Gently. Full splashes. Do not do this in a bikini top or short sleeve top. That is why I am wearing, even though it's more. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> what a nice blister. Um, don't do that. Woo! <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Be careful when you're out do it. Oh, that burnt. Fry, baby, fry. Fry. Double, double, pull in trouble. Fire burning up cauldron bubble. <laughs> okay, what's in the chat? Let's see what's going on. Oh. A drop of water would take oh I know it's hot honey um that's why I use the that's why I make sure I use the thermometer oh Rosie you are so sweet Debbie thank you so much yours is to your knees oh my gosh you know I play I taught myself when I think I was oh, look, oh it's so pretty and I'll just a second y'all we'll see how pretty now it's separated just a little bit that's perfect 
what I'm going to do, I'm going to set them on the plate over here. It did separate, it did open a little bit. That's all right, we don't care. We're not after perfection, we're after delicious, are we not? Look at that. Look at that. Oh! And the inside's going to be, it's still cooking. You know, so the inside, though, it's going to be a little lighter looking. That's okay. Because look how hot these are blaze. See how that puffs up? See, even though I cramped it down, it's still puffed. And it's a pretty deep golden. I gotta be honest with you, I, I took a little taste of the apples. <laughs> it's really good. All right, I'm gonna turn this down for right now because I will set myself on fire. And I don't wanna do that. All right, now this glaze that I've made. There are many ways that people do glaze. And I'm a poet and didn't know it. Actually, I did know it because I do write poetry. Um, some people make about twice as much glaze and they dump the whole pie in it. You can do that if you want, because this glaze will dry. It will soak into the pot, and it will it will make a nice little crust on it. And that's fine if you want to do it that way. If you have a paper towel or napkin to hold it with, otherwise you're gonna get this all over you. Because even though it does, you know, dry, and it makes it really beautiful. Um, yeah, it's sugar. It's sugar and water and vanilla. It's gonna be sticky. So what I like to do, because I don't want to add too much sweetness to this. The whole beauty is the sweetness is in the inside. You want to touch on the outside, a good crust that's oh, puffed and just delicious. And, you know, just a touch on the outside. You don't need a bunch. I don't think you need, I don't think any of us need to dunk a whole pie in the glaze. Now, my glaze looks like this. See, it's real pretty. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my spoon. I need a bigger thing. My little Italian guy is not quite big enough. We'll take my spoon, we'll get it like that. See if I can get it to slow the dripping. And wait a minute, let me get this before you can see. Shit. Don't make me get up. All right, see my pretty pies? You see how fast that was? And I'm just gonna dribble. Dribble over the top. I want to make sure that the top gets a nice little coating. It's hot, so the glaze is going to melt off. I don't want it on the underside, though, because I want to be able to hold it, at least with one hand, and eat the goodie. Daddy, be down and quit whining. That dog whines. Now, he barked when he came in, and he's basically saying hello. And uh, But then he whines if my husband doesn't come downstairs right away. Isn't that funny? Love the babies. Okay. This is what they're going to look like. Now that glaze will harden and it'll be really pretty. Okay. And uh, it's, <laughs> you can't eat them right now. They're good warm, but you do not want to eat them right out of there or you will burn your mouth. Slide. Okay. So that's where we are. Slide this back so you can see that. Let's get that out of the way. But that's what fried apple pies should look like. And they're real hot. I can feel it through the plate. Alrighty, let's let's do some questions and then I have a little something I want to share with everyone. Do you have any questions? Oh, Denise, Lynn, honey, when, oh, thank you, Rosie. When you eat these, if you've ever had them store-bought, they're all right. They're, they're good. They're fruit pies that are fried and, you know, they're, eh, it's all right. These are totally different. It's like, um. It's just better, <laughs> but this, these are easy to do. You saw how I did this. Um, I made three. I will go back and make the rest of them, you know, as soon as the live stream's over. But um, you see how they're done, and you see how to make, you know, fruit, and then the chocolate, and the chocolate, as you see, is a little smaller. It's about the size. It's like a half of a chocolate chip cookie because, you know, it's folded over. Now, I've made a big, big one. It will be just as beautiful on the inside as this one because it's already been cooked. But that's fried apple pies, and that's a southern tradition. And, uh, you know, if you have any questions about any other fruits, the, uh, how to add the spices to them, or what goes with what, you're always welcome to DM me. I'm Mama Best World one on Twitter. It's Mama Best World at Gmail. You can always get in touch with me there, or you can find me on a live stream and just, or find my live stream and just down below 
all you have to do is, you know, holler at me and say, hey, I need this. <laughs> I'm always happy to help. So thank you all so much. You all are so sweet. Apple pie for everyone viewing tonight. Well, Patrick, God love you. I even said the F-bomb. I burnt myself with oil and I went, fuck. <laughs> so that was my F-bomb for Patrick. Oh, Lord. They, um, you know what? If I had y'all here, I'd be feeding y'all whatever flavor you wanted because I'm happy to do that. Checking oil temperature. Do you use, yes, I use a candy thermometer. Let me show. There it is. I bought this off of Amazon. I think it was nine dollars. Let me shake and can tell my blood sugar's getting low. Yes, I did get to eat one of these. It is simple. It has Fahrenheit and Celsius and uh, on off, so the battery doesn't wear out. I've had those that you really couldn't turn it on and off, and they just, you know. Um, but they did have the digital display or LED display, whatever it is. I don't know. He's the engineer, electrical engineer. I don't know anything about this shit. <laughs> I don't work my thermometer. <laughs> oh lordy. But yeah, it needs to be 350. And uh, yeah, it does look like a fried calzone, except for it's got um, a puffier pastry. It, it puffs a little better uh, because the fried calzone and ravioli that you use, um, you still use egg base, but it's pasta. It's a pasta bread instead of um, this, which is, you know, it, it's like a pie crust puff pastry. It's not quite puffy, puffy, but it's, it's close. And uh, now make sure you shorten in this. You probably won't hear me say that a lot at all. Thank you all for all joining me. Um, Flyboy Glenn, it really is easy. Once, you, once you've made it once, you, you'll be like, oh, shit, that's just, we have to do that again. But, okay. Thank you, Cooper. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, you, <laughs> Chick Eastwater. <laughs> you're cute. Yeah, my F bombs are for Patrick since I started doing uh, videos and I uh, go on my panels. He's been so supportive of me and on Twitter. He's like, You really got to do more. You got to, I miss your videos on this. And I always put one F bomb. And I said, That's an F bomb for Patrick. <laughs> so, oh, uh, you've been looking, whoa, Debbie, you've been looking five years for this. I know you, you asked for it. Deb, by the way, this was Debbie's idea. She said, I have traveled through the South and had fried pies. And I don't know whether she had store-bought or homemade, uh, but she said that she'd had a fruit and chocolate. And I thought, you know what? That's something that you don't see people make, but I, but they do. We do. My grandparents made this, both, both sets, you know, and I've been making it for a long time and I kind of got my recipe down, you know, and I'm, I made a, a cookbook of my recipes for my daughter and I'm adding to it every Christmas and it's a lot of work. I'm handwriting everything and my hands don't work well, but, um, she said, do you know the recipe? I said, Lord, yeah, that's the next video. And I've been asked for donuts, which donuts are pretty easy, but, um, I'll have to do some prep work because the dough I use is yeast, is a yeast dough, bread dough. And, uh, it right you have to let it rise you can make cake donuts but i do fried donuts and usually i do like the donut holes because they're so much easier than cutting but um <laughs> oh lord want a, brian <laughs> he's so funny you want a calzone now um you know what what calzone fried calzone is a piece of dough we bake them but do, doing the little ones you know, you can drop them in and fry because I always put my own sauce and then like uh, the meat's already cooked. The vegetables usually are sauteed before I put it in. So that's what I do. And then basically, you know, press my dough and then throw it, throw it in oil. But yeah, I'm hungry. I'm getting real hungry now. Um, yeah, don't touch those pies. Uh, I'm so glad you suggested this, Denise Lynn. Um, seriously, it, it, it's, it was a great idea. Yeah, Brian wants his. He wants his dinner since his daddy's home. But um, if you have anything that you've tried that's a traditional Southern recipe, definitely leave me a note, leave me a comment saying, you know, can you do this or that? Because I'm always looking for ideas and I make a lot of different stuff. Some is traditionally Southern. Uh, I make different, different foods from, gosh, about every culture. And uh, some I do better than others. You know, I, I like doing desserts because I make, whenever we go somewhere, I make desserts and to take, you know, it's kind of a thing. But if I did this, I would have flour all over my face and chocolate on my chin. Um, you know what? I used to all the time and then I learned to keep a towel and go, oh, shit, 
but try not to touch my face. I have had, oh Lord, it, if there's a kitchen accident, I probably had it except for setting the house on fire. Knock wood. But um, <laughs> send you one, Rosie. Um, I tell you what, you make me a pot pie and I'll send you some of these. I'll freeze them and ship them. We'll see if we can get them expressed to you. I would happily do that. Chicken and dumplings. You know what? I almost made chicken and dumplings tonight and I said, you know what? I can go ahead and throw some dough together. He's like, no, I kind of want chicken noodle. And that's what's cooking in my crock pot right now. I don't usually make chicken noodle soup in my crock pot, but that's where I cook the chicken at. And then I'll take it out. I keep the broth and uh, I'll take the chicken breasts out because my husband will not eat dark meat. That's a thing. So uh, <laughs> I'll take the chicken out and I'll cut it up and then I'll put it in uh, my large pot because I make great big amount of it and I throw it in that and you know add some more broth to it which I freeze broth whenever I whenever I bake a chicken or anything I freeze the broth and so I add that to it and then I'll add more spices and then I add egg noodles because that's what he likes best if I don't have any egg noodles then I just break up like uh, linguine or something like that for my noodles but that's what's cooking in my crock pot right now and um but I will make chicken and dumplings definitely I can do that you're lucky <laughs> Oh, I, you know what? I love, I, I really love doing this. I enjoy it so much. And it's been, a, it's been a while since I've really enjoyed YouTube. Like, like I have, I've met some wonderful people. Uh, and you know, recently, and of course, you know, we have our circles, different circles of friends. And then when we overlap and we find things that we have in common, it's so great. And that's, that was kind of my message um, that I wanted to give today. So many people are arguing and fighting, and I, I hear this, you know, if you're going to be their friend, you can't be my, my friend. If you're in their chat, you can't be in my chat, you know, or you're friends with so-and-so. You're just here, you know, to cause trouble or to take information back. Nobody should tell you where you can and can't go on YouTube. Nobody should uh, demand money from you. Nobody, it's, it's actually, it's illegal to do that, to like, uh, we see a lot of people doing readings and things like that. And even if we're friends with those people, we need to tell them, you know, that's illegal to charge for a reading. But um, if you ever feel obligated, whether it's a fundraiser or just an everyday chat, to pay someone for the privilege of coming in their chat, that's not the chat you want to be in. At least it's not in my opinion. And, uh, you know, if you want to tip someone, that's awesome. I mean, I've given loads of money away. Not even a lie. I mean, lots. And I just want to say that the people that I have given the most to have the one, are the ones who have treated me and my friends the worst. I have been treated like crap by the people I have been over backwards to do good for. The ones that I wasn't able to help with quite as much fundraising or quite as much money at the time. You know, those people are still my friends and humble. And I don't give money expecting it back. I never have. Um, that's a good way to lose friends. But at the same time, you know, I would like someone, if I'm helping them and, you know, going out of my way, it'd be nice if they were nice back. And that's all we deserve, you know, or that's what we all deserve is the people that we support and those that we go to their chats and we talk and tip, you know, whether it's a super chat or PayPal or whatever, you know, we deserve kindness. You know, we don't need to, I, I don't need anybody to shout my name for the rooftops, you know, or, you know, anything like that. But I would like them to be kind. And that's my little lesson for the day after all I've, after all I've seen and heard. Um, you want me to break one of these up before we leave? Let's see. Mind over matter. Isn't that right? <laughs> that's one of my favorite things. i got to find my spoon. So I can break it open. And I've got butter on it, of course, because I made my condensed milk. And y'all can see how I made condensed milk earlier uh, on my Twitter. That's what's on here, actually, is condensed milk. Let me just wipe that right off. Now, everybody say, everybody's saying yes. Uh, give me a one if you want to see the apple first. Give me a two if you want to see chocolate first. Which one do y'all prefer? I'll let the chat decide. One for apple, two for chocolate. I got another dang notification. One's apple. There we go. I got 
two apples. I got one uh, chocolate. Apple, apple, chocolate, chocolate. One and two. Ah, <laughs> uh, two. Okay. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Ones. You can't vote twice. <laughs> All right. And then one, two, three. Okay. I think we have apple first. You know what? Because uh, we're probably not going to eat these and it's, it takes a while for them to cool down. I'm going to open up this one first. Now, wait a minute. This is an apple. As you see, it's a nice golden brown. Woo! They're still warm. I'll probably close that eyes on. I'm an idiot. All right. Here we go. That crunch. Crunch. I look at the inside. See? The pie uh, has the crust done all the way through, and then you have just a beautiful bit of apple filling in there. And honey, I need you to taste test. I can hear myself on TV in other room. <laughs> Come here, take a bite. He's he doesn't have a bit of a problem being a game pad. Here, baby. You can tell whether it's good or bad. It's apple. What you think? Well, his eyebrows shot up about two inches. Is it good or bad? Yeah, it's really good. Excellent. Want the rest of that one before you eat dinner? Because I haven't finished the soup yet. <laughs> no, that's good. She's like, man, that's good. <laughs> anyway, okay, there's the apple. Baby, will you have me another... Uh, Spoon so I can give you some chocolate. He gets the biggest spoon in the door. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now, the smaller ones, the smallest ones of chocolate. Listen. Hear it? I'm so crunch. Now, look at the middle. And that's the end. You remember how little we put in there? But see, if you put pudding in there, which they do on the store-bought ones, it would have been gooey. Okay? Here you go, baby. You're just getting all sorts of goodies tonight. Once again, the eyebrows. It's really good, yeah. It's really good. Which do you like better, the apple or the chocolate? Both. I <laughs> see. How can you not love a man who eats, puts your figs, and goes both of it? I want all of it. You gotta love it. All right. Well, we've had fun in here tonight, and I really appreciate everyone who has come in here. If you have any questions about uh, the recipes, or how I do anything, or why I do anything, y'all know where to find me. It's Mama Best World One, just the number one, at Twitter. It's mylabestworld at gmail.com, or you can just get on my on the uh, live stream video or a regular video and tell me what you need, and I'll be happy to help. All right? I love you all. I love you. You love you. I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>